Let's go. Oliver, <laughs> you crazy boy. He's a crazy boy. Okay. All right, Chad's here. Ollie, yeah, that's going to be kind of annoying to do tonight, probably, but okay. There's Michelle. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Ollie, you a crazy bow. What up, Autumn and Katie? Hello, everybody. Hello, Becky. Hello, Marianne. <sighs> All right. Long time no talk, Dario. Right, right, right. All right, let's take the condom off. And then we'll go over the rules. You're going to listen while driving. All right, sounds good. Sorry I made you jump through hoops. <laughs> you came by the other one, then you're coming here. Hi, low roller. Okay. Texan Candy Coin might get us to 500 symbol. She might. She's going to do it for us. I feel it. I feel it. So there's that book, 803. I think if you watched the earlier stream, I told you book 803. It's still book 803. Um, before we start the scratch, the rules, as always, um, I'll scan every ticket. We check every ticket. Um, uh, yeah, if we get a claimer of $1,000, I will take the taxes. Anything over the that, we will take the taxes out and then split the win between the 10 participants. Hello, Tammy. Low Roller found two free bonuses, but he got greedy. Those are all, that's also in the rules. Um, yeah, pretty much, that's it. <laughs> but, hi, Dwayne. Hi, Sue. Woo! Okay, here we go. Good luck to everybody. Um, this one, I actually ended up not even getting in this book. I know, you have to have some type of rules, Dwayne. I was in the one last week. This one filled up, and it actually overfilled almost, so... <laughs> All right, let's go over this lovely ticket again. You're going to Alabama. Sure, Dario. I love tickets. Uh, poor low roller. Okay, so the rules. There's a you can or the um, symbols. You can get a 10x symbol. There's a win 500 symbol, or the safe is a win all. We're looking for all that sexiness. Otherwise, it's just a match your numbers game. So here we go. Let's go ahead and scratch the first ticket and see what things look like. Again, my lighting gets a little better as the sun goes down. Which, probably the second half might be a little better, but that doesn't look like it's too bad. 32, 27, 35, 16, 28, and 14. Alright, sounds good, little roller. I really can't talk to you and comment right now at the moment because i got this book of tickets to do, so I'm not, I'm not trying to ignore you, but... I've got a job to do. I do the work of the people. We've got a dreaded 40 match. Oh, wow. Look at that. First ticket. Dreaded 40 match. Is that a 15? A 21? And a one. All right, dreaded 40. Hello, Ian. Well, we're on ticket zero, 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 so you've missed nothing yet. The skills were good, low roller. They were pretty good. All right, 40. Small zeros. $10 back on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. We've got 10 to hold on. Oh, oh, oh. $10. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. And as always, we will scan every ticket for your and my verification to make sure I'm not pulling any shenanigans. And I get to, I have to savor my wiggle whiskey because I'm currently out of wiggle whiskey. Or even for the book. <laughs> $10 makes us holla. Okay. So that goes over here. Let's have a little small sippage. 
Oh, yeah. It's been a couple of weeks since I've had the wiggle. That's pretty good. Woo. Hair on your chest. All right, ticket one. 18, 31, 22, 28, 6, and 15. I like that whiskey, though, because it's it's more high, it's high test opposed to Fireball. Fireball's good, but Fireball, it's not as high test as that shit. But that stuff, it's cinnamony, which I like, and it's high test. Ooh, we got a matching 28 back-to-back -back winners on the first. First two out of this shoot, we got winners. Hopefully it's not front-loaded or I'll be drunk by ticket five. <laughs> Woo! And a 27. All right, matching 28. What do we got? 15 dull hairs. All right. Hello, I am having Wiggle Cinnamon Whiskey, Nick. It was a, oh, oh, one is a $15, but it's literally the last. I bought it online, got to do yard work. All right, sounds good, Ian. I got it online at the beginning of the quarantine and paid like $60 for it, but it was actually well worth it. I really enjoyed it. I save it for special occasions for sips, sips. We only have sips. We don't have shots because enough sips will totally put me down anyway. So, Who's in on the book? Ten people. Too many to name. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> 22, 19 actually. But when we go to the liquor store tomorrow, I might buy a fireball though because I'm almost out of fireball. That's for my, like, for um, Oregon Trail time. We got to have the fireball for that, so we might buy a bottle. I'm going to wine, but we might get a small bottle of fireball tomorrow while we're there. That way we're good for, like, next Friday. All right, good jazz. You know, JP says about the day, yeah, usually. That's usually what happens once you get back to back. You're going to get a small streak. That's pretty common with the PA lottery, but. Oh, no. You got two new bucks for tomorrow video. Um, low roller, I have a dollar twenty for tomorrow. Ooh, Captain Morgan, there you go. I don't know if that was timeout or the low roller. Just relax. Low roller, you need to lay off the freaking Red Bulls. I think the Red Bulls just get you going. Oh, I love the college girl drinks. That wasn't me. <laughs> Poor low rolly. Poor low rolly. All right. Oh, oh, three. 31, 12, 35, 22, 7, and 25. Yeah, I'm all about the college girl drinks. As I said, I like to get white girl wasted with, with all of the big hubbub with racial profiling and stuff. I really probably can't say white girl wasted. I have to say college girl wasted to be PC about it, I guess. But it doesn't necessarily mean a college age of it. You know. Three and an eleven. Michelle had cocktails. Nice. Very nice. Uh, well, I didn't see his question, apparently, so he was just making sure I, got, I saw it. <laughs> Jameson Whiskey Sours. That'll put ball, hair on your balls, sounds like. All right, ticket four. 
24, 22, 30, 29, 28, and 23. And a 16, all right. Hey, what's up, Perla? There are 60 tickets in this book. 60 blessed tickets. I will be here a while. It's nothing anymore. No ball hair, Kenny Manscaped. That's <laughs> yeah, but it's still going to give it to you worse. Uh... And then, yeah, then you're going to cut your balls, Nick. All right, ticket five. Ticket. I have a feet. Nick, did you not call in last Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve? I realize it's been some months, but I don't think you did. And I haven't had a Nick Horner call in a long time, so you better call this year. 24, 30, 17, 39, and 3. It's Shark Week. That's all right. You're gonna if you're here if you go to watch Shark Week, you should probably just go. This is gonna take some time. And once, especially if I start hitting the whiskey so more, then I start really getting off topic and it gets scary. But And 18. Ah, oh, jeez, oh you made bad choices. Oh, Nick. Are you not the father? Or, you know, it hasn't been quite nine months yet, but, yeah. You are not the father, Nick. You are not the father. You missed a $15 winner, Paul. Hells yeah, bro. <laughs> yes. So our $15 was our big winner thus far. All right, ticket six. Twenty, twelve, twenty-eight, thirty-six, thirty-three, 12, 28, 36, 33, and 1. Josh has got his whiskey, too. Cheers to you, Josh. Cheers to you. Have a sip every winter, or just drink it whenever you feel like. I have to set standards here. I wouldn't be able to scratch the book if I had to, I have to at least say every winter because you know it is the PA lottery after all in the end. But yeah, <laughs> oh shoot. JP was correct though. We got two winners in a row, and then there's a long path of. Of losers? Yeah. You are not the father. Good. I played the chase from 550. It was the 500 symbols. Oh, well, well, that's worth it then if you found the 500 symbol. Yeah. I might lose my shit if we hit that. Like, literally lose my shit. Low really got timed out. Yeah. He was asking a question, and he asked it multiple times, but I didn't see it. But the original had enough to sit. 28, 26, 22, 2, 16, and 30. Even though he really was talking mostly about skills. Shots for $20 plus winners. Ah, oh, shit. We could change the rules, Josh, but woo. And I'm running low, I, so I can only have sips. <laughs> but you could do that, though. Ah, uh, 
What's up, Oliver? You can behave yourself the rest of tonight. Let's hope so. No babies for Nick. Well, good. I didn't know. No, no. I didn't think so. Are you still, like, carrying around dishwashers? Or what are you doing these days, Nick? I don't even remember anymore. You, like, carry around dishwashers over your head and some shit. I thought you moved on from that, though, but I don't remember what your new occupation was. Oh, I want to give a shout-out to Virginia Lurker's sister, Jasmine, I think. She sent me an email. Out of her, but hello if you're watching out there. It's number eight. We're on number eight right now. All right. Good night, Michelle. Sleep that shit off. Thanks for hanging with us. Glad you had a great night. 38, 24, 32, 17, 30, and 23. Sometimes girls just want to have fun. Yeah, oh, gee, that that brings back memories. I used to. I remember riding my bus, my school bus. Now this is taking me back. There was these girls. They literally girls at the time. I mean, I was a minor at the time, so this is an early day. I remember them saying, "Girls just want to have f," and they literally just said it a lot. And these girls were literally probably like ten. I was like, "Huh." <laughs> it's like, well then. Where do they learn these things from? Mr. Beast does not have tickets, no. No, because he would never be there to pay them out, Brian. We are in the sour part of the book now, everybody. Damn, I wish I hate to be that guy in the store. Stupid Hamilton. I was telling the, the girls at the bank, the tellers, because they know how I do books, because when I go and take out my three six hundred dollars in big bills, I tell them what I'm doing. And I told them, I'm like, you should tell the bank they need to get these tickets because they're money series, and they could do them as a giveaway. And they laughed at me, but I'm like, yeah, you should have a giveaway at the bank. 9, 15, 22, 33, 14, and 39. Even the smalls. What's up, Brandon? No, you don't get surprised casino stream after this, but... <laughs> 29, 11, 21, 8, 18, 13, 12, 30, 28, 16, 6, and 24, ew. I drive a 28-foot straight truck and pick up confidential paperwork. Nice. What's up, Sarah? Well, we've had two winners so far for a total of $25 on ticket number nine. That's interesting. Yeah. No, not Mr. Beast. Mr. B's, everybody, and they aren't related at all. Low roller, it's Mr. B's and Sons. Bargain outlet. And I'm getting thirsty, and I need to win something. If not, I'm soon going to have to have Diet Pepsi in desperation. Ticket 10! Oh, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. I, had, <laughs> I have to tell you that, Brandon. That's like my just my way of saying, hey, what's up? <laughs> it's all good fun. 31, 20, 19, 8, 4, and 36. Isn't that a symbol bottom left? I don't think so, no. And I scanned it, it said it wasn't a winner. What's up, Krabby? It said it wasn't a winner, so I don't think so, no. Katie, are you drinking already? Are you seeing things like I'm seeing things? Ew, we're on a bad run. What bargains do they sell? I have no idea. I think he's got his CBD oils and Lord knows what over there. Uh, 
I think I looked it. I think he's got some like t-shirts and shit. But again, I'm never going back there. It scared me. Hey, what's up, Dinette? Thank you. Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast scared me. Okay, I'm gonna have to have some Diet Pepsi because I'm starting to get thirsty after all those tickets with no winners. All right, ticket 11. We need to win something. We started out with two back-to-back -back winners and now we're on like a really long dead, dead zone. 12, 37, 27, 9, 16, and 23. Hey, what's up, Anthony? Thank you. We're trying. We either want to get that $500 symbol or we want to get a win all. Or we want to win $500,000. Oh my god, we got a 9, everybody. Kenny gets to have whiskey again. Can we get a helper? Can we get a helper? As soon as I had some Pepsi, oh well, we can have some Pepsi and whiskey. 500,000 right here. We have our own. Nine. Oh, $50. That was about damn time. Shit. Do I have any keychains for sale? No, I have dog tags, Brandon, but I they're not really quote-unquote for sale. I usually take them to, like, events and shit that I do, but, yeah. I'll still sell them for five bucks if you send me monies, but you can't send me your Canadian monies. You invested in very expensive basketball cards. I think you were telling me about that one. I kind of like how those zeros are on that 50. You can tell it was kind of sexy. Five twenty-five to go. I know, right, David? Right? That whiskey's good. Can we get back to backs now? I think we should get back to backs. Ticket number 12. That's the big winner? Oh, goodness, I hope not, George. But it could be. What's up? Thank you, Instant Princess. Instant Princess, are you, have you made it where you're going yet? You're not going to creepy nursing homes again with old people, are you? With light slashing? 37, 18, 39, 12, 6, and 13. <laughs> creepy old people in nursing homes with lights flashing. That did look kind of creepy. I'd be scared. Four and a twenty. Negatory. You just was there. Oh, good. You're home now. Good, good, good. There's going to be a $500 symbol in here, George. So, you know, you were terrified, I bet. It's kind of like, yeah, we've had, it's been a rough week. You go to nursing homes all the time for work. They are gross. Huh. Oh. No, that's sad. <laughs> that's sad. All right, ticket 13. There we go. The nursing home that my brother was in at pretty much at the end of his life was there was some really creepy ones in there. 4, 15, 31, 26, 23, and 40. Any, I don't have any scratching tools, no, Brandon. What, the nursing home? No, the nursing home spelled better than Mr. B's place. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, shit, we got a matching four. Oh, shit. Can we get any... Oh, we got a 31, too. Can we get more? More, more. Can we, can we, can we? Can we, can we, can we? 
can you can you hear me? And a thirty-seven. I want four. Four for fifteen. For another fifteen, we've got a thirty-dollar winner. It looks like on ticket thirteen. Well, they're starting to wake up. That that's thirty. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I do have, speaking of that, Brandon, though, I do have keychains, though. Um, um, I grew up with a keychain collection. And I still have them. I have them in a big bag. And there's probably some ones that are worth some value. Um, but I kind of just have them back there. But yeah, I used to have, like, a whole pegboard in my room and stuff. And Oh, geez, Zach. Do you do private duty nursing? Oh, cool, cool. All right, ticket 14. Here we go. 7, 36, 11, 9, 16, and 39. And a 14. Do, 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 do. That was what it depends on the things. Ah, oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, I actually have some. This is a $600 book. I have some, which I think is like the New York World's Fair, I think. I know my grandpa had it and gave it to me, which was my mom's mom, who passed away in 1988. I forget what year the World's Fair was, but I think some of those have some value. I should go through them sometime, but... It's not a wiener. Maybe once we, you got a dog tag from the, oh, that's right, I did send you a dog tag, yeah. Maybe once we get over with the Oregon Trail, I'll take a Wednesday night to go through my keychains. But I know they're in a big bag in the bottom of my closet. Ticket 15. Oh, jeez. Josh should have finally went for dinner. I'm surprised Big D hasn't called me yet to tell me about his PlayStation 4 and his TV. Hamilton wasn't a president, was he? Yeah, he was. Best president we ever had. I have no idea, but... We don't do politics on this channel, so if you've got opinions on Hamilton and his views on things, I don't want to hear it. Mm-mm. Even if you want to talk about, like, Abraham Lincoln or, like, George Washington or something. No. It's offensive to my ears. <laughs> These are $10 tickets. Big D usually calls at 8. Yeah, he might. He'll probably call at 8 just because he's so used to Why is this a ticket checker dying for me? But he wants, he wants to freaking take a freaking loan from that freaking MDG company. We literally only owe them $300. And he's done and it's over with. I'm like, dude, how much is the stimulus for? You ask your, I have no idea. You see the one article and it says you're getting another 1200 check. But I don't know. But what I was saying for Big D to hold out, hold out. And if we get a stim check, there you go. You can buy whatever you want. Um, you know. 8, 9, 22, 28, 24, and 11. And, like, you know, originally, like you say, he needs to get a job. That's the problem. Yeah. Nancy Pelosi has a nice wreck. Oh, wow. Wow, David. That's quite the proclamation. But yeah, Big D can't, literally just because... Have you seen him and his brain? The last job he had was at McDonald's. We've got a matching 11. 
And oh my gosh, it was a shit show. Like he couldn't just follow directions and no. You know, yeah, so he can't with no. <laughs> no. As as I as much as I agree with you, it's just not gonna work. He's just not a functioning member of society these days. A twenty and a seven. All right, sexy number eleven. Number eleven looks sexy. It does. Number eleven is twenty dollars. There was something about that font that just got me excited. What's your plans tomorrow? I'm heading up to Penn State. If I get I'll try to hit you there with the way home. Well, I'll be live in Lewisburg for lunch. And then I'll probably be coming back through and we'll probably go to Puffs about noonish, one o'clock. But if you're after any time in the afternoon, just let me know. Well, there was the gas station, but that was a shit show too. But, yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, because tomorrow at 1 o'clock is the Pride Parade. It's not a parade. It's a protest, which I didn't even know they had protests. But they're protesting Pride in Mifflinburg, which is interesting. So that's at 1 o'clock, which we're going to drive through town tomorrow and see what's going on. Ah, $20 winner. All right, on 16, which we just verified. And we got a $50 winner. Cheers. Cheers. But yeah, so that yeah, so tomorrow should be exciting. I don't know what I'm eating, but you know, let's hope so, Travis. Drink, hey, there you go, Josh. Drink, drink, drink. That's qual. That's a qualifying beverage. Drink. Qualifying winner. Sixteen, thirty-two, one, eighteen, twenty-two, and threaded forty. Oh, excuse me. The big drag gas stations are because Big D wanted to like borrow money from cash. So can I. Oh, Joshua, oh, Joshua oh. or two others. What does he want? Hi, Shelly. Who's. This? Josh is texting me and calling me. Well, okay, hi. Oh, I will right, we'll check it out then. Oh. Well then. It's not. Huh. Bye, Josh. I'm not gonna get back to my butt. What do you need to tell everybody? That's kind of scary. Yeah, it's, I'm not gonna swear. Go ahead. If you swear, I'm gonna end it immediately. Yo, everyone, it's Papa Josh here. Hope you know Kenny's gonna sit there. You guys are all gonna lose three hundred dollars. <laughs> cause it's Kenny and he bought a book for Puffs. That's why you're gonna lose, cause it's a Puffs book. Okay, bye, Josh. <laughs> No, we had this discussion though. With I had to talk to what Ian earlier. Um, we had this discussion with Ian. It doesn't matter if you go to the lottery website. The, there's never usually a big winner anymore. Like in like a three to four county radius around nine. So whether you buy it from Puffs, whether you buy it from Wise Markets. The odds of me hitting a humongous winner are very slim just because of the, you know, pretty much the statistics that the lottery puts out. I mean, that's anywhere, but, you know. 3, 14, 38, 29, 23, and 17. You did, Ian, you did. I mean, not to say you can't win there. And I've, I've had profit books from Puffs before, so, you know, I'm not, I, but I support Puffs because I go there to play skills all the time. And. 
If a little lottery helps their bottom line, yeah. I will help them out. And there can be winners anywhere, kids. Winners anywhere. And a 22 out of 23. You just set back, Katie. The PA Lottery Checker. Yes, the odds book. Yep, that was a winner. They're out there. They are out there. The ticket checker will verify. It does only take Juan's tickets. Yes, Juan ticket. Correct. All right, ticket 19. 24, 7, 26, 11. Eight and one. Next weekend, we're probably going to do the Lincoln book, everybody, which is the $5 version. So, yeah, come back, man. That one, there's only five spots. Five spots of 60, so. Come on, Symbolage. We want symbolage. A thousand loaded book. Our thousand loaded books were garbage. That was a bad book. That was a bad book. I'm curious to hear how Nate makes out, because Nate was buying them from separate stores. I'm not sure when he's doing his, but... Yeah, it's Big D's time. Well, that's okay. Josh and Big D call at this... It doesn't fail, especially if I'm trying to take a nap. Big D will call. Big D will call, and then Josh calls. And I merge the calls and just put them on together, and they usually just yell at each other. And then Big D's like, I'm not putting up with this shit. Bye. 11, 2, 34, 26, 32, and 31. 26, we got a match. Match, match. Can we get a friend? Thank you for being a friend. Travel back around again. My heart is true. You're a friend and a confidant. We got a 32. We do. We got a friend. Or no. Wait. We don't have a 32. We have a 23. Is that a dyslexic match? I think it's dyslexic match. 37. Did I say 32? We got, no, I think it's got a 26. Small zeros, 10 whole dollars. Yes, George, yes. I'm trying to take a nap. I put my phone on silent. Oh, I do too, but the vibration is still there. And then I vibrate. I need to turn that off too. Yeah. And then this morning, it's like 7.30, and Josh is calling me. And then he's like, where are you at? I'm like, still in bed. He's like, but it's 7.30. I'm like, but it's Saturday, and I got nowhere to be, so I am still in bed. So the weekends are my refuel time. Do I have the? Where is 32? Am I blind? Oh, 32's over here. I thought I had 32. Shit. I do. My bad. Oh, here he is, everybody. Here he is. Sassy Sarah called it. Huh? Sassy Sarah called it that Big D would be calling any time. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Awesome low roller. Kenny, did you take a check out of our account? No! Listen to me. Hell no, I ain't listening to you. You're full of shit. Why won't you? Because. It's my fucking money. And I can do what I want. It's my money and I'll do what I want. I'm going to say no. Because if you really just want to buy a TV and a PlayStation, you'll wait till if we get stem money and then you'll pay for it with cash. 
Yeah, they don't have PlayStation in stock. Well, that's a shame. But, Derek, why do you want a PlayStation? You literally just told me about the PlayStation 3 that you're like, I don't even play it, and you were going to give it away. So what's the difference? I don't know. Maybe I'll get a PS4, Teddy. But why? Why not? A PS4 Pro Are you, but You want to get a PS4 Pro and pay outrageous interest and pay on it for, like, two years. But you're... Well, I know. I want to do that. Why do you want to do that? Can I just be... Like, huh? can I clarify why someone would want to do that? I'm, I'm kind of depressed today, Kenny. You're, I just want to order You're depressed. Else. So we're going to buy a PlayStation and get depressed. It'll make me happy. Will it? I doubt it. C141 Crew Chief says, it's my money and I need it now. I know. Isn't that like Lana had a Dempsey? <laughs> But why can't we just not? Let's buy something else that makes us happy once we get. Yeah. No, I want to do it now. I want to do it oh, now, Daddy. Crazy. No, I have to be the, the one. The only thing I need to do, Daddy, is send a check. Aren't you getting Boy Dish Boy Network? Take That'll a be fun. And I'll send it to it. No, That's it all won't. I gotta do to get available but money. won't Dish Network be fun? You'll be able to watch TV. Uh -huh. Aren't you getting Dish Network? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, Katie says you need a vacuum and a mop. That'll be exciting. No, I got the mess cleaned up, Katie. Oh, hi, Dave. No. Yeah, I'm ready for Mom to bring my satellite thing tomorrow. Yeah, one step at a time, Big DGs. Let's not freaking bite off from more than we can chew. Well, no, I want to get this. Yeah, Kenny, I'd order a PS4 and a fucking 58-inch TV. That would be awesome. Okay? Mm. Why can't I do that, Kenny? Mm. Please? Mm. Kenny, please? All I need you to do is send me a voided check so I can attach to an email and send it to lady. And then, then, I'll, then I'll have available credit tomorrow. Okay. Huh. huh. See, that's all I have to do when I can get it. Katie says you should get a mop and lights. No, I don't need a mop. What about lights? I gotta get some school pants, yeah. Eventually. You could probably get credit. I, I know, but this just sounds like you're just depressed and you're just looking oh, for a I way out. I just want to do this. But, yeah, maybe Mr. B... Mr. B's probably has a PS4 in the arcade area. Who? <laughs> Mr. B's, the place the place next to uh, Puffs. No, I doubt it. Why can't I order it, Kenny? Oh, my gosh. Me too, Instant Princess. How do I it's do that? I really want. But, like, so I have a... Like, I wish I would have asked the guy when I talked to Social Security yesterday, because I called and I found the guy to address change. I should have asked that guy. Like, how do I handle this? Like, you know. What? Because Derek wants to buy something with his money. But it's it's a stupid decision. Like... But that's you, okay. That's my stupid decision to make. But you don't... My job is to help you not make stupid decisions. <laughs> Yes, that's the whole reason of... Who order this fucking PS4 in the TV? I think that's a stupid decision. A 58-inch 4K TV and a PS4 Pro. What? That's crazy, Dave. Sorry to hear that. How am I crazy? Well, yeah, you are crazy. Help me out. All you gotta do is send me a voided check. I'm thinking, Mr. Depressed... Let me ask you a question, Penny. Does that check have my name on it, too? Um, yeah, I think so. I thought so. I told him that. Hey, what's up, baby doll? Thank you. So all I need is a picture of How a How about you sleep in. on it? It sounds like you're all horny right now. No, you just, I don't want to sleep yeah, on you it. just need I to can't sleep order on it. That no, that's good. You sleep on it. Get I'm back. To, send it to him. You get back to me tomorrow. We'll talk tomorrow. No. Kenny. See, but these are the things, though. Big D thinks that... 
Yeah, see, the but right that's the yeah. thing. Big D thinks he can keep pushing me and going, yeah, do it, do it, do it. But I can easily just walk away from this job like today and he's going to have to put up with some random stranger. I'm trying to work with the fellow, but then he's always like, it's my money and I'll do what I want with it. So I'm trying to help the guy, but if he keeps pushing me, I'm walking away from it and he's going to have to deal with some random person. So hopefully, okay. hopefully at some point he'll go my way, but... Come on, Kenny. But who knows? But you do you. Well, I paid MDD $110. So I'm sure I have enough money to get a PS4 Pro and a TV. Yeah, and but you don't even want to play. But Derek, I'm trying to do my book right now, so I'm not going to argue with you while I'm trying to live stream and do my no. book. So. But I'm not giving you. don't need to check tonight. You can't do a shit anyway. So you can sleep on it. You're all horned up. Apparently you're depressed. No, it's going to take longer to get it, oh, That's okay. You're all horned up and depressed. Maybe by tomorrow once you sleep like on it. Like I said, it. it's a Samsung 58 oh, God. GU 7000 UHD 4K Smart TV. Somebody it's help. PS4 Pro 1 terabyte in. It comes with two controllers. Oh, gosh. Okay? <laughs> it's thirty two thirty five by weekly. So, yeah, that's not bad. thirty two fifty. I love again, how, I love how it. it's bi weekly. If they ask me for something, I say, no, what? I start taking shit away from them. They, oh, that's a good idea, Instant Princess. Actually, why don't I get the Xbox One X? See, you don't even care. Why don't Why don't we buy like floor lights and lamps, and we well, can buy? Well, dude, I'll take it to Lowe's, and we can buy a new door for your apartment that you decided just to rob. I don't need to buy. Yeah, a door. it'll be less depressing. Huh? It'll be less depressing. You said you're depressed. No, I am depressed. But maybe if we buy, why can't we do this? Let's then? go to Lowe's. Come on. Derek, I can't. Are you ordered me a train engine online, Kenny? See, you don't care. That's your problem, which is why you just need to sleep. Well, that made me feel better. You j Dude, I literally just let you buy $75 worth of stuff, and all it doesn't even matter anymore. So it, this is only the it's only a Band-Aid. So. Well, I'm looking for something fun, Kenny. To get my mind off this depression. What are you depressed about? Tell us more, Big D. Maybe we can help Women, you. Women, the whole fucking nine yards. Women, did you say? Yeah. Oh, you, dude. I tried to call her dude, that lady was never nothing. Let's just let her be. I know it's unfortunate. You thought maybe you had something. But what do you do, Kenny? I think she's trouble, so let's just dismiss her. Let's move on. Let's go back to the days before we had the women involved. Yeah, let's go back to June 30th. Yeah, go back to June 30th, Big D. Then what? June, whatever. You would know. still want a train and a TV and Lord knows what, but let's get the woman off of there. Okay, Kenny. I'll get the woman off my mind if you buy me a train engine. <laughs> no. Yeah. You silly. Huh? You silly. Huh? So, baby doll. Yeah. Baby doll. I'm trying to get the five. I'm trying to be like you and get the awesome win all. I'm trying. We're going. Oh, good. Big D left. He barely has got a neighbor visit. Maybe he's got a neighbor visitor that's going to cheer the fellow up. I hope so. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hookers that blow. Exactly. But that's the thing. He can't work, Low Ruler. He can't. Look how he, he's. No, we've already had this discussion. Yes, what ticket are we on? We're on ticket number 26. So far, our big win is a whole $50. 7, 22, 18, 14, 32, and 29. Something tells me he will call me back, but I don't think I'm picking up this time. We already learned, and he, you know, he can come into the chat then. He might have to get banned, because, yeah, you all are paying me good money to watch me scratch this book for you. I don't need my brother in the background being silly. Sorry, my client is being silly with you all. <laughs> oh, my. But literally, I'm like at that point, like many times, I'm like, I don't even need to do this anymore. I'm like, this guy doesn't need to treat me like this. I'm like, I'm trying to help him in his life. <laughs> What's up, Steven? It is going good. I have no idea, Paul. Like, too much. Too much, but yeah. No, thanks, Brandon. 
I know he can work free bonus on skill games, right? No low roller tomorrow night. I have a dollar twenty. Um, low roller. No, um, live in large experience ride. Make sure you look for your belongings as you get off the train. That's at six o'clock tomorrow. Oh, I know, and Sir Princess, it's so hard. It's tough. It's tough, super tough. But yeah, luckily he's over there now. Now that he moved away from my parents, but my parents are still closer. My parents are doing more things, so I don't have to drive all the way over there now, which is nice. I told them, I'm like, it sucks. I know you guys lose your patience, but I'm like, you don't have to live with him anymore. So I'm like, you can go over every couple days and check on him. Please get him an effing vacuum before I puke. He calls me a lot. Well, apparently he wants his receiver, but apparently the place is a mess. And my mom said tomorrow if they take it over. Hey, we got a match. 14. If they take it over, she's going to tell me. Ooh, we have a 37 too. He needs to clean his shit. Come on, more, more, more. We got two matches. We got three matches. We got four matches. Four matches. We got four matches. Come on, more matches. Five matches. Twelve and a seven. All right, we got five matches, so we're hoping for 20 under here. But, yeah. What is up, James? Skills were pretty good. We're hoping for a hundo. We are. It's probably just 10, but it could be 20. They're just 10. It's probably another $50 winner, but we'll take it. Sure, so that's our second $50. It's kind of cool to get two fitties. It is. What did I get? 20, 40. Why does this make this so hard? <laughs> did I get a 33? No. 32? No. 26? No. What am I missing? 11. I'm missing 11. Hey, 50 bones. I know. Let's see some hundreds. That would be nice. 27. We've got a 50 spot. Finally. That was seven tickets with no winners. You think your IQ drops? Oh, dude. Dude, you're telling me. You're telling me. Woo, drink. Woo, drink. You should be here. Sometimes when I yell at him, I have to yell at him. Thank goodness I have, like, no neighbors other than the hallway. So I can pretty much yell at him all I need to. Uh, <laughs> like, if he was, like, my actual child, I fully admit that I would probably be an abusive parent and I would probably be in jail. But, yeah. <laughs> all right. Ticket 28. I know, Ollie. Let's go. 38, 39, 17, 8, 12, and But yeah, while you all are here, some of you are here who weren't here earlier, um, one of my viewers donated half of a Magnificent Millions book to me today, and I actually filmed it all. I'm going to be doing 15 $20 Tuesdays of the book, and I had an amazing profit and an amazing awesome winner on it, so you got, that's coming up here in a couple weeks, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, wow, that's awesome, Steven. The Big D Walmart video in 4K HD. Oh, my God. Hey, thank you, Trevor. You got daddy involved. Oh, my gosh. 
All right, ticket 29, halfway through the book. Eight, what time is it? Oh, I'm making good time. 8.30, 21, 13, 4, 25. Well, what would you think that Big D would do at Walmart, AE? Our problem with Big D is he can't follow instructions. And he's very flighty, kind of. So that was his problem when he worked at McDonald's. And McDonald's was hell over a year ago. It just, yeah, it's, it's just all over the place. So it's hard. It's hard. Ooh, matching 25. It's hard to employ when you can't pay a folk, you know, when, like, your manager asks you to do things and stuff. And Ooh, we got a 21, too. And a 26. What does 21 have for us? A 10. And a 25. We got a 10 for a 20. A greeter. He probably would be good with that, yeah. But right now with the COVID, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 17. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We got a discount. <laughs> well, he always wants to mooch off of Carl's mom, my roommate, because she works at Walmart. She's worked at Walmart for like hell, probably like twenty five years. She's worked at Walmart for a very long time, and he always wants to use her discount. And I'm like, no, I'm like. For the longest time she, during the corona, she was like, stay home because, you know, corona. And, and he wanted to use her discount during that. I'm like, I don't think so, Big D. I remember the one time me and Carl, we went to Walmart. This was back when we were like high school. And we used her card to get a discount. And there was this old lady, the old lady working there. She gave us the biggest glare. Like, I'm like, hey, now. Like she's family. How much did we win on the ticket my Wi-Fi went out? Which one? $20. The last one, $20. I will always remember that. That was the last time we ever used her discount again. Because I think she got in trouble. Because apparently you're not supposed to give it to family. But we did it anyway. That was back in the day before like self-checkouts and shit like that. Before things got fancy. We so fancy. We already know we got a 40. Whew! That wiggle whiskey started to kick my ass, but we've got 30 tickets to go, so I'm sorry if this becomes a shit show. I'm surprised Big D's not back. It might have been Tony, the neighbor. He likes to hang out with Tony. Like, he always, no matter where he moves, he always finds people and friends. You know, like, I've lived in this apartment building for 10, over 10, 11 years. Now, don't get me wrong, there's that one guy, I talk to him all the time and stuff, but we don't, like, hang out or anything. Like, he just meets friends, they just hang out, and I'm like, I don't, you know, he's very, he is very friendly. 438, too. 28, 5, and 19. Then again, a lot of people have come and moved out of here, but. This, the people that's lived in my apartment building, it's come in phases. You get a good, when I moved here, there was a really good batch of people, mostly just families. And then a lot of them moved out, and then some really weird people moved in. There was a large amount of older people, which there still are some, but at one point there was a lot of older people. They've since come and gone. I think the one actually died at the end, but they were very older people, which was sad. But, eh. No, there's there's a decent there's some decent group of people that are in here now. I don't really see any troubles or shenanigans, but I know a garden girl, right? Long stream. <laughs> Your whiskey. I know. We keep getting them twenty dollar winners, Josh. Woo. And Garden Girl lived here, and yeah, it's been a long time. Long time coming. I remember, yeah, this was the second place I actually looked at, too. 
Because that was back in the day when my parents are like, we're selling the house. You got to go find a place to live. And the first place I looked at was the guy who owns the pizza place. Um, and then that place was on the second floor, which would have been a bitch. And it's down in the crappier part of town. And then this was the second place that I looked at. And I'm like, yeah, actually, this is the third place. The other place didn't have any laundry. And I was like, oh, hell no, I need laundry. Per private laundry. They had a laundry room. It was even though it was a beautiful, big apartment. No. And it was also down there kind of in the ghetto area by the post office. So I was like, eh. And then I found this one. And I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And we moved here. And I've been here ever since. It's got its issues. Again, something that needs fixed. That was mainly from my old landlord. My old landlord and my new landlord doesn't fix, but most of the shit, the non cut the cosmetic stuff, eh, whatever, it's not mine. Air conditioning, though. We got new air conditioning, so that's good. Don't mind me, everybody. Now I'm at the point of the book. As I drink the whiskey, I just start ranting as I scratch, but... Exactly, Ollie, but we're still getting the job done. So you might just want to mute. You might just want to mute it. <laughs> Reminiscence. <laughs> With a lot of okay. We will be having relationship advice, and I have fun drowns, and I still have crackers. I have to go buy cheese tomorrow for 90 Day Fiance night tomorrow. We do need some symbol action. But we'll probably do that tomorrow. Do I need a suit? The, the snow shovel is still back here. It still is a &E. That snow shovel never leaves. Even though I don't think I used it this last winter. Six, two, three, fifteen, sixteen, and forty. Exactly, Ollie. We had a good winter this last winter. It wasn't bad at all. Ollie, you're being dramatic. You've been outside like four times today. You don't need it, bro. I know. You sit down there on the box. I think you're waiting for a lady friend to pass by, but she never comes. Are you and Big D both depressed? Are you in Big D depressed over ladies? Do you have lady issues? Look at Kit. Kit comes up and freaking bites him on the neck. You can tell Kit's like, stop me out. That's hilarious. Kit does my do dirty work. You make buko OT when it snows. All right, ticket number 34. 29, Come on, where's our assemblage? I might have to spank the rest of the roll, I might. They're being bad. Ollie wants to go to Pops to look for free bonus. Who doesn't likewise? 19, 27, 15, 4, 3, and 12. That's tomorrow.
Tomorrow morning, Kenny looks for free bonus before he goes to CVS. Hopefully I can have a... Did I win last week? I think I lost last week. I don't remember. I've had some Sunday morning churches where I struggle. And they just eat my money. I don't know what game I'm playing tomorrow. Usually I just let it hit me when I get there. And I'm like, alright, I'll play this game. One and a twenty-eight. Boo hiss. The Boston Market frozen dinner, sweet and sour chicken with fits. I know. Is that good? I used to like Boston Market freaking meat loaf. And when I go to Boston, this year we're driving again though next one. So we might be able to hit the Boston Market on the way out. Oh, I love the actual Boston Market. We used to have Boston Market here years ago. Which then turned into the Chinese restaurant, and then the Chinese restaurant like turned into like now where the hospital owns it. But yeah, Boston Market, so good. All right, ticket thirty six. We're lagging here, kids. Thirty eight, forty nine, fifteen, and twenty two. I'm starting to get thirsty. I might soon have to have some Pepsi. But every time I have the Pepsi, we find a winner. I'm gonna try to move. This is ticket number 36, everybody, if you're looking for the ticket number. <laughs> Why am I? I had a nap this morning at like noon. <laughs> So my, and I was so lazy and I napped and I snoozed and I slept a lot. I'm just I slept yoga last night. I'll probably sleep good tonight again tonight, but Alright, I need to have some refreshment here. We're gonna have to get out some Pepsi because we ain't winning to have the whiskey. Which right now we have a lot of whiskey for the after show, so <laughs> What's up, Kit? 18, 17, 19, 30, 25, and tree. Don't make me go play free cash machine again. I will. I actually highly enjoyed that last night. <laughs> For whatever reason, even though it wasn't even real money. When it goes ting, ting. Eleven. Spike Kitty in the background. Yeah, Kitman's back there. He's running around. Ooh, we got an 18. See, I take a drink. We finally get away. It's 18 bringing us. 18's bringing us a $10 winner. Holy shit. That was eight tickets. We waited eight tickets for a $10 winner. I know, Tim K. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. The struggle is real these days, though. And I know, Ollie. You too. Ollie's like, I'm depressed. There's a woman out there, Keeney. I know. Woo! That just calls for a sip, Josh. Ollie, Kibbit's going to come over and bite you on the neck and tell you to cut it out. Don't lose faith, David. Keep the faith. Alexa, what's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow in Wickham Bridge, there will be mostly sunny weather with a high of 92 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 66 degrees. Thank you. You bet Ken. 
28, 11, 25, 18, 2, and 13. It is. Oh, he's being dramatic. Don't let him. Don't let him fool you. Ollie's been outside like so many times. To, uh, well, in the hallway. Like so many times. He got to see plenty today. I was very nice and let him roam. Probably too nice, which is why he's now being all dramatic. Exactly, Kit. Get him. Don't take any of his shit. Oh shit, see there, it's going down. Oh god. Are you guys okay? Oh, uh, Kit's over there. He's. Oh, that's just Kit fighting with himself. <laughs> Kit's like. Rrr. Oh shit, what number did I miss? It's a $15 winner. Uh-oh, uh he's to the point of the book where he's missing shit. 11. Oops. Kid, are you alright? That's all kid on that one. No, one. no one's been hurt in that one. <laughs> Woo! A level. A level. Cheers. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Ticket 39. Oh, jeez. Did you ever turn your phone on? How does my iPhone, it just turns the light on? Oh, there it turned it on. Then it turned it on. It's like, what the hell? Ticket 39. 23, 3, 29, 15, 1, and 25. I know, the cats are losing their shit. Woo, thank you, Shannon. Send it over. Send it over. We need it. Yeah, they'll, they'll be fine. It's starting to get late, though. They'll soon die down. Hopefully. I, you know what? I'm thinking tomorrow. Maybe it's just because I'm drunk right now. But I'm thinking Taco Bell tomorrow. Old school Taco Bell. If they don't have anything fun and exciting, I'm just getting it. I want to. Do they still make the grilled stuff burrito? That used to be the shit. I might do that tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Kenny's cheating on the drinking. I'm not, Charlie. I only cheat when I win. And I, I'm at the end of my Wiggle Whiskey from Pittsburgh. I'm going to finish off the bottle. I know all it's garbage. You'll be okay. You're going to be fine. I know. Life is cruel. Life is cruel sometimes, Ollie. You have to learn that. Life isn't always, it's not always roses. Trust me. It does sound good. Last week we had Chinese, so I took a break, but now I'm allowed to go back. I'll have to look. I have no idea if they moved on with a new box or not. That 4, 6, 35, 11, 24, and 13. I know, I know, I know. You haven't been around this earth as long as I have, but people will do you dirty. I know, it sucks. They's gonna do you dirty. Ooh, yeah, I had the, oh, that's right, the grilled cheese stuff burrito. I had that, yeah. Oh, that's right, I have peanut butter whiskey, too. No, I'm finishing the wiggle whiskey right now, but I forgot I had the peanut butter wiggle. The peanut butter wiggle. No, the, pe the freaking screwball. Yeah, I had that burrito. It was okay. It was kind of overrated. It was like a regular burrito, 
with some freaking cheese on the outside. Yeah, I was not left too too exciting. I think that one was, it was good, but it, I like the cheese on the inside. But hi, John K. How you doing, Schnookums? <laughs> Schnookums. <laughs> What's up, John? <laughs> Ticket forty one. <laughs> 3217536 and 27. Ollie is ready to get out of this place. He's like, I've had enough of these people. He's like, I'm just going to live in the hallway, everybody. I'm getting out there. He's like, my true love is out there, Kenny. You, you're getting in the way of love. Like you think it's all fun and games. Am I getting in the way of love? Is this rude of me, Ollie? Will you eventually just... Yeah, exactly. You go over there. You know, go over there. Ollie, hey. Buddy, come here. Let me touch your head. You're fine. You're okay. You're fine. But I can't go over there and let you out right now. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh. Tomorrow, Schnookums. <laughs> I call John Schnookums. <laughs> Dad Tipsy. Dude, tomorrow night. It was the perfect, the perfect combo. I had like a big glass of wine and then I finished it off with a shot of screwball. Oh my gosh. That was like three to four weeks ago. Um... Gracie's meowing too. Where is everyone going? Um, that that night was the best night ever. Like I I anything I was just like here all by myself. Every I just laughed uncontrollably. There was something about the wine and the screwball. I've never felt better in my life. <laughs> Well, we're on ticket 42. I don't know how much money we have back. Marianne and Katie are keeping track. 19, 15, 18, 23, 35, and 38. We're still looking for the sexy symbols and whatnot. We've only had two $50 winners. And then no politics again. I don't know. Does anybody know if... Hamilton did so I have a question was Hamilton a Democrat we got a 35 or a Republican or was that back in the day before they had this party split I don't even know the history behind that for shame to me we don't do politics here though something tells me that Hamilton's not giving us a stim check all right what do we got a 35 big zero come on Thirty dollars. Oh, pushed out on the private. Mm. That's kind of sexy. All right, forty-two with a big thirty dollar. A big thirty dollar. Thank you. With la if we get any symbols, the symbols are all high paying shit. So yeah, what's that, Michelle? Dude, everything was very different then. I would imagine so, but I have a question. Okay. Alexa, what political party did Hamilton belong to? Alexander Hamilton is a member of the Federalist Party. The Federalist? Who knew? Oh, push all the prizes. The Federalist Party. Perfect. See, there we go. Now we know. Oh, he was a statesman. Oh. Who knew his name was Alexander? I didn't. We're soon going to have to have Fireball for dessert. I think we're going to have Fireball during our um, relationship hour after. Or not Fireball, Screwball. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, let's go. Take a 43. <laughs> What's up, Kit? You're rocking the table back there. 38, 16, 25, 34, 37, and 19. 
Oh, she said I'm. She's a federalist. Your Alexa doesn't know what's up. She's a, he's a federalist. What the hell that is? I bet you he would give me a phone though. He looks like he would give out free cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> You found <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know, but whatever. I think he's gonna give us a phone. We made a re Oh shit! Look at you being a naughty boy at the casino, John. Bad John, bad. How'd you make out, bud? <laughs> bad John, bad. <laughs> naughty wiener. All right, ticket 44. I hit two max pet bonuses on Nightlife and Diamonds. And how did that work out for you? I mean, is this like I did a thing today, John? Like you like, you know. Josh like said, he's like, so I did a thing today. I got max bet. 3, 14, 21, 30, 32, and 24. 430. Oh, hells yeah, you're on fire, dude. You should quit. You should not even get a job. You go full time, look for free bonus at casino. If Low Roller heard that, he'd be all over your shit. Who cares about benefits and stuff? You look for free bonus at casino. Even though at a casino it would never be a free bonus, but it'll cost you a little bit, but <laughs> that's awesome. Good for you, man. Good for you. Oh, Federalist is says Democrat. See, he would give you a phone name. <laughs> I know that shit doesn't last. You should buy yourself a new pair of shoes. Oh shit, what did I miss? Damn it. <laughs> oh shit. Twenty one. 21 for 10. 21 for 10. All right. So ticket 44, $10. $10 and a dream. Damn right, Original Seeker. I scanned them tickets. Do you think I'm like an amateur at this? Oh, hells no. Trust me, when I used to do books with Sufak, I was very timid. I'm like, oh, this is scary. Now I'm freaking doing books. You all remember when I went do books? Because books, I was all scared. Oh, shit, we got a five. I can drink right off the bat. <laughs> I was all scared. And then I found a good group of people who doesn't scam me, and it's good. Come on, you're supposed to give me more. I, was, I took a drink in, in celebration that we would find more. Ooh, we got a two. Ooh. Oh, shit. 
30 bucks? How many $30 winners we getting in this thing? Jeez. No, Red Bull's bad, Original Seeker. It puts you on edge. Scared of what? I don't know. It's just a lot. It was like, it's like a lot of work, kind of, but not really. What's up, OP? Um, yeah. 310, I think? I think that, you know, because what I've noticed, Original Seeker, is, and this might, you might have to stick around for the advice hour, but I think, you know, you're all, I think you're on edge. I think Red Bull puts you on edge. Like, you get too, you get too out of hand and, like, excited. You let low roller, like, bother you and shit. You need to relax, kid. Like, you're fine. Like, you just need, there's more to life than just, there's more to life than just, you know, that, you know. It's bad. I think it's just putting you on edge, and that's your problem. I think you'd be a very nice person. You just need to relax. You'll you'll start to learn and understand and love love really, but yeah. All right, ticket forty six. Eight twenty thirty eight twenty eight thirty six and thirty four. I hope so, OP. We need like a symbolage. We've got two fifty dollar winners, no hundreds, but two fifties. Oh, I gotta give, um, oh, Ian, are you still watching? I mean, is he, it's exactly original. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here to help you. Is Ian still here? I forgot to tell you, Ian. Yes, uh, Puffs, she was, she was offended that you didn't come back and give her a tip. But I said that you gave me a tip, so I don't know. I feel like tomorrow if I go in and she's there, I should give her like $5 and be like, here, here's my tip to you, honey. But yeah, I mean, it's like, you live at the same time, it's like she didn't pay you out, she sold it to you at the same time. But, you know, I would have tipped, but at the same time, like, but if you didn't pay me out, the girl at freaking Wise had to pay me out. Yes, you get love advice early. I'm trying to help everyone here today. I'm trying to help everyone as we go. Look, I'm going to make Original Seeker. He's going to be like my best man at my wedding. <laughs> What's up, Redskins fan? How you doing, Brosif? <laughs> Brosif. Ticket 47. Here we go. I usually have like a hundred people watching, so I've definitely scared some away. <laughs> Woo, Katie! Are you gonna have to call me then for the happy for the emo or the relationship hour? You can help. Four thirty-eight, thirty, forty, twenty-five, and eight. Are you still working on Pickering Mine that I sent you, or are you on to Illinois Wine now? I have a feeling you probably devoured those two bottles, but... And where's Jessica Davinsky at? Is my hand bruised? No, it's probably got freaking scratch and dust all over it. <laughs> what up, Tyler? Good, and I'm doing good, thank you. Oh, you're still doing Pickering, mine. Yeah, I you guys all talk me into having screwball for dessert. So yeah, once I finish this and when we're done, we're just gonna have some screwball and crackers, and I'll be able to help you with any any troubles in your life. I've been around these parts a long time. I know what's up. <laughs> Brosuf, it's kind of like your bro, but it's you know it's like Joseph, so it's Brosuf. <laughs> but no, I did not hurt myself, OP. You're the Brosuf. You like my Brosuf? It's like slang talk from like 1997. Okay, what are we on? Take it 48. This is about the time again. <laughs> we need to get married. Anybody know what the book and what? On ticket, what, what the book and at what? We're at ticket forty eight. We're at three hundred. I don't know where we're at. 
my people that are keeping track. I don't know. Marianne, um, 310, ticket 47. We're on ticket 48. Thank you, Marianne. 18, 24, 23. Me and Instant Princess are getting married, Fab Show. And we're going to have Original Seeker as best man, but he can't be having Red Bull, though, because he's going to, like, time out people in the audience. Then it's just going to be like, oh, my gosh, here we go. You're timed out for 300 seconds. Like, we're just trying to get married. I know. It, I know, Wally, I know. It's gar It's garbage. He's like, you don't care about me, Kenny. He's like, even though I've let you out like eight times today. <laughs> what the f <laughs> You can be the ring boy. Redskins fan will be the ring boy. A double wedding, exactly. <laughs> I am James. I am. A gambling and fireball themed wedding. Ollie, come over here. Look, there's boxes of Fancy Feast on the floor. I paid good money for that shit. I work hard for that stuff. And you just disrespect it. No, he's going to be Flower Bring Boy. <laughs> You're going to be the minister. All right. <laughs> Whatever. 18, 1, 30, 22, 40, 17, and 26. <laughs> so... Let me think. A low roller scratcher will be holding our pillow <laughs> with our rings. <laughs> and he's going to be like, this pillow is moist. <laughs> it's moist. It's fluffy. I give it an 8 out of 10. Gotta go by. Gotta go by. <laughs> Gotta go by. <laughs> Oh shit. I can't oh, I'm making myself cry. I can't see this. I can't. Gotta go guys. Bye. I got eight out of ten. Oh my god. I can't see it. I'm crying so hard I can't see the ticket. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to get this together. Oh, oh shit, of course, I can't see because I'm blind. Where's the winner at? 40. Do I have a 40? I do. I do. There's the 40. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thanks, George. Okay, so we've got a 10. <laughs> The pillow is fluffy. I give it an 8 out of 10. Gotta go, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Ticket 50. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. No one's ever buying into my books again. They're like, this guy's a freaking... He's an alcoholic. Oh, hold on, hold on before we go. <laughs> Let's get Dr. Phil involved here real quick. Hold on. No, just one second. Oh, shit.
You've been a worthless drunk that you just keep on. Get sober. So you drunk yourself into oblivion is what has happened. Why are you drunk? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh my gosh. Uh, what's Bobby gonna do? Well, Bobby is gonna give out the programs, I think, and he's gonna, yeah, he's just gonna give out the programs. I think that's good. 33, 21, 6, 19, 4, and 11. We are on ticket number 50. Let's get this book done. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna try to keep it together here. Dr. Phil said it, you've been a worthless drunk at sober, but I haven't been drunk in two weeks because of the damn antibiotics. So this is kind of like my rum springer right now. You just let me alone. Ugh. Oh my gosh. 20. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, slow roller, Bobby. <laughs> Ask us if Amazon is connected with the CIA. Alexa, is Amazon connected with the CIA? No, Amazon is not part of the government. Amazon.com is a tech company and an e-commerce platform founded by Jeff Bezos in 1994 that works with vendors and customers from all around the world. Is Jeff Bezos rich? Jeff Bezos is worth an estimated 111 billion 300 million US dollars. That's a lot of money. No, a lot of money is not an Amazon echo. Thank you. You bet. Oh my. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Hell yeah, I am, girl. Thank you. I love Amazon. My Echo. Oh my god, we got a matching 35, everybody. I love my Echo. Alright, come on. Let's get a end this book with a bang. I've got it together now, kind of. <sighs> Just don't leave me with a low roller leaving a review of the pillow. Become a big zero. Big zero, $15. All right, we got another $15 on 51 Of course! Escalation. Alexa, do you think that I'm drunk? Sorry, I don't know that. If you have a minute, I can show you a few things I can do. Do you want to hear more? No, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I don't know that. If you have a minute, I can show you a few things I can do. Do you want to hear more? No. She can, she like she can have a conversation like a real person, but then at the same time she's all prude and like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, take a fifty-two, three hundred and thirty-five dollars. Thank you, Marianne. You are a trooper through all of this to keep to continue to keep count. Even as the lotto kick went off the rails. 30, 40, 39, 30, 32, 26, and 15. No, Alexa's going to have no idea how to do that. Low roller, but you missed it. So John was here and he won all this money in the casino. Do you think he should go back every day? He can't look for free bonus because you can't look for the next puzzle. But he can gamble and hopefully find free bonus. That's what I'm saying. I thought of you right away. I'm like, eh. You could live off the casino. 
I doubt it. But and a twenty nine. All right, I'm there. Have you been writing down the last two winners? I have. Yes. What do you need a question? She's not judgmental. 44 was 10, 49 was 10, and 51 was 15. Sorry, Josh. I always see I have a tendency to do that. Ooh, excuse me. I have the smart plug too, but she's currently on my heater in my bathroom, so I only use the smart plug in the winter. Yeah, I think that's what he's planning to do, Juan, so. Um, I want to take it 53. We're going up to 59. Free bonus in casino, but how? I know it's not really free because you'd have to pay for it. Thirty six, fourteen, thirty nine, twelve, twenty three, and thirty seven. You have forty five was thirty. I must have been totally drunk. I have forty two as thirty. We'll go back through them then at the end. <laughs> if not. Oh, hold on. Ah. Ollie, can you relax? We're not we're not going outside. Hold on. Oh. Oh. I thought I had a sound effect for that, but I don't. <laughs> I thought I had the Dr. Phil, the wheels are falling off. What's my favorite NFL team? I don't watch football, so I don't have one. How do you look for free bonus on lottery ticket? Very carefully. I got 49 at 10, making the total three, uh, 49. That's right, yeah. All right. We'll go through it at the end here, and I will go over it. Okay. We, all can, we all can do mathematics. Mass and vacation with the lottery king. Hey everybody, it's the lottery king. I heard you in laundry business have seal games in PA. What does that mean? I am in the laundry business. I have a washer and a dryer. And I also go look for free bonus every once in a while. I do. What's I don't yeah I don't really watch sports, James. So again, I don't know. I'm busy over here on YouTube right now. But no, and I don't go to the laundromat. I got my own. I just got some my own washer, my own dryer. I I don't know. I have already done. I'm not drinking. Eat. Three. So I'll verify that. 27, 31, and 25. I'm ready for screwball dessert. I actually forgot I even had screwball. So, yeah, we're going to have a little shot of screwball for dessert for the after show. Stick around if you want to hang and chill. Hang and chill with the Lotto King. But you know what, though? I'm a piece, my, my subscription growth is, I'm like stuck in like the 6,300, like, I did, can't seem to get any higher, I can't seem to get to like 6,500. Oh, I don't know though really, but yeah. I know, I find dimes, and well, I find money in the laundry all the time, and I'm hoping it's Carl's and not mine, and I just take it. Sorry, not a meaner. Not a meaner. Not a meaner. Alright, what do we got? Ticket 55! We're gonna finish this bitch! Let's finish it. 
Come on, Lotto. Can keep it together. 17, 27, 36, 31, 6, and 9. There's one. I like doing the $20 books because there's only 30 tickets. There's something about doing 60 tickets. That's a lot of tickets. It's a really a lot. We've got a matching 27. We do. Uh, can we find a friend and a helper? Small zeros, a $15 winner on 27. I know, we need a marketing plan. We do, Dave. Yeah, it's shenanigans. We, we, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it's cool. I know, let's do it, Salim. $500,000. Wouldn't that be the shit? That would be the shit. Woo, bottoms up, bottoms up. Yeah, come on, Alexander. We want a phone. <laughs> We want a phone. Oh shit, it helps if I turn the ticket. <laughs> Where are you going, Santa? Oh my god. All right, let's do this. 35, 17, 34, 32, 25, and 8. So far, I've had a great weekend this far. Again, last night was cool. I mean, we didn't really win last night, but. I had fun playing. I had fun. I, you know, Dave, the most fun I had playing last night was the free freaking cash machine on free money. I had the best of time. I don't know why. <laughs> Even though in the end I lost $60 total, but I had a good time. Today was good. I won a little money on the skills earlier. I lost on lottery, but I still was ahead at the end. And we won earlier playing skills. It was a good, so far, a pretty good weekend. If you lost your job, you'll be looking for free bonus for eight hours a day. Yeah, absolutely. But I doubt I'm losing my job, low roller scratcher, right now. Um, yeah. My company needs me. And I keep getting this asshole on LinkedIn who keeps looking for me. And he keeps saying that he keeps looking at my LinkedIn profile. And he's basically saying, like, I'm the perfect match. I'm like, you don't even know me. You have no idea who I am, what I've done. While I'm a drafter in my current job, I don't do no. I freaking fill out forms and shit all day. I don't I can't even. I can draw some shit for you, but forget about it. And then he wants me. I'm like, give me a freaking Mercedes and like ninety five thousand a year. Yeah, I I did not find a free bonus. No, you have to watch my video tomorrow. It's the 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 dollar twenty experience on freaking living large. It's like a ride. I'm starting to make them like a ride, and it's it's, it's low roller. You've 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 made it into something. You always talk about your experiences, so. <laughs> Fifteen and a four. four. What's up, Shane? Uh, yeah, so I want 95000 and a Mercedes, and I'm in. That's all I need. Um, I think that I say Mercedes or Beamer. I, I go Mercedes. Mercedes is more expensive. The ticket checker is not available, you piece of shit. 
piece of shit Pennsylvania lottery. And then we're going to do a verification of all our vendors at the end to make sure that we follow, make sure we're not missing anything. But all right, we got two tickets left. Ticket 58 and 59. Hi, Shane Ross. Did I say hello? I don't know. I'm in a drunken super right now and just saying words. So. I know. Someone help Low Roller. Low Roller, stick around for the after show, bro. We're going to help you stop losing money. Low Roller is losing money. 27, 8, 37, 3, 30, and 18. Well, here's your dilly, Low Roller. I think once you get into money, you're like, oh, shit. I can bet big now. I can win lots of money. But you have to realize betting big, which I think if you watched earlier, you weren't there for the skill stream, but Nick Ferry put in like Max Bet Pirates. We literally lost $120 in like three minutes. So, yeah, like, no, it's like you have to take the money and run, bro. You do. You just got to take it. Just take it and go. The book is almost done, Dave. I have one more ticket to do. What's up, Chris Molly? We got one more ticket. It's looking like it's an average book. Nothing too crazy. Marion says 350. We're going to go ahead and add it up here at the end. We got one more ticket. And then, you know, Dave's like, I can get away from this drunk guy. <laughs> but no, we've got one more ticket. Here we go, last ticket, ticket 59 of the book. I know, we should have picked up the... We can still go out, but I don't know, it's a little scary. I don't think I can walk out there. 19, 22, But stick around, I'm having a screwball shot and chit-chat and whatnot. Until I'm ready to leave in my drunken stupor. What's up, Ali? Behaving? I know. It sucks, bro. It sucks. And a 40. Oh, my gosh. It was real nice. I'm doing my crazy experience of big bets, but it's not working. Yeah. Uh, to piece of shit. Lie. I did. I did. I know, silly, but I don't think we're getting it here. But all right, we're going to review all of our numbers to make sure they all line up. And then we're going to add up the final tally again just to verify. All right, that one is a loser. So these are our losers. These are my tallies. Don't mind my chicken scratch. So I had ticket 55... Did I put $55? Oh, that's a 15. Okay. We got 15 or 15 on 51, so that's 30. Um, 49, I have 10. So that's what? Is that, did I say 30? I did. So that's 40. And then 45, I do have a 30, so I missed the 30. So that's, what, 70. 44, I've got a 10, that's 80. Then I got a 30, that's 110. And then I got a 15, that's 125. I got a 10, that's 135. Plus then I got a 20, that's 155, and then I've got a 50, that's 185, then I got a 20, that's 205, and then I got a 20, 
that's 225, and then I got a 30, that's 255, and then I've got a 50, so that's 305, and then I got a 15, that is 320, 300, 330? Fuck if I know. 330 or 350, I can't add. But how many winners should I have? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, I think, because I missed one. So let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17. 17! We've got 17 winners. The total is 350. I'll let you know tomorrow if it's different once I go to the store, but goodness gracious. Profit books are super rare, Dave. I think in our day we've had two, I think. Yeah, but yeah, if you talk to Low Rolly. Not low really. I'm Greaser Bob. He'll tell you about all the profit books in his day. Not that many. But it's the lottery, and that's how they make money. So, yeah. Okay. I gotta go wash my hands and get my dessert shot. And I'll be right back. So I'll be, be right back, everybody. <laughs> I'll be right back. I think if I can walk. Oh, goodness. <laughs> if I can walk. Oh, my legs are awake. They're awake. We're awake. We're moving. Ollie, we're moving. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, that's amazing. So, what's going on, everybody? Oh, shit. What's up? How's life for everybody? Has anything changed in the last week since we last talked? <laughs> Is Low Rolly still here? Or did he get his advice from Jed Black and then he left? Huh. Hey, he's going to watch a horror movie. Love you. Cheers, Josh Hall. Cheers to you, buddy. Ah, oh, cool, Dave. Cool, cool, cool. Kit needs a treat. Kit is going to get a treat. Bedtime treat. Yes, this is um, Screwball. It's the peanut butter whiskey. Oh, that's awesome. I get cocky if I'm winning in a row. Then I get greedy since I want more money. Yeah, no. I'll hold the phone. We got to hold the chat here. That's bad, low roller. Jen Black went on a date. How was that? Tell us more. It's the princess is still single. That's good. You reserve yourself, honey. We're getting married. 
Um, why can't I just stay home and get drunk instead of putting money in the machine? Say, exactly, it's easier. I don't know if you saw my Facebook post, but last Sunday, my sister... I saw that, Shelly. Is she okay? James says I might not make it to the bedroom. No, we make it to the bedroom. My bedroom is a straight shot that way with a quick stop at the bathroom, so it's good to go. This apartment's got a good design. So, and Katie can't get up. So, yeah, so, you know, Josh, that book killed a third of a bottle of whiskey. Uh, you're, uh, you're welcome, Josh. You're welcome. Oh, uh, that's a big shot. It is a big shot, class. We're just sipping it. She has a broken kneecap. Ooh. Hopefully she heals up. I mean, I guess things could be a lot worse, but... Um... So, Jen Black, tell us... I'm not sure. All he wanted to do was touch... What? He wanted to touch you? Like, how? Like, like creepy touching? Or did he just want to, like, cop a feel? You know, was he looking probably to get in your pants? Because, again, I know you said that was kind of a problem that, you know, all these guys just want to get in your pants. But, yeah. Instant Princess is still single. That's all that's most important. Then there's that guy that wants to give her, like, a key, which is just bizarre and wild. But, but no, Charlie. This will be tomorrow night, probably, too. The key to success to a good Sunday night um, is a glass of wine and a shot of this whiskey. <laughs> oh, my God. I never had so much fun that Sunday night. Because I had a CDL. I'm pretty much on call at the time. Oh, that sucks. Like, caress. Okay, okay. Was it Joe Biden? <laughs> I cry when I go home and I bet oh low roller. That sucks, man. You can't I mean if it, if it if it's coming down to it makes you cry, low roller, you need to think you need it now. I it sucks, don't get me wrong, a bad gambling loss sucks, but if it makes you cry, you need to reconsider it. You shouldn't do it. I mean, I don't know if I've ever had a bad gambling session actually literally make me cry, but I can see it. But at the end of the day, if you're losing money that you won, you know, okay, but hold on. Well, that's good, Shelly. Um, hold on, there's so much going on here. Uh, but uh, yeah, we have to get back to Jen Black. I need to learn more about this caressing, but... Yeah, it sucks, low roller. But you have to look at it this way, low roller. As long as you didn't spend a ton of money and you got free money and you're just gambling, trying to win more, that is, like Dave said, that's gambling. Ultimately, that is gambling at that point. But oh, I feel so, I'm sorry to hear that you said that you cry because that that's sad, you know. Uh, Trust me, after my Hollywood anniversary two weeks ago, like Instant Princess knows. Yeah, that's true too, Instant Princess, but I don't think that's his problem. I think that he wins, and then he's just, it's not like he's hurting himself, but he's mad at himself because of the free money that he could have bought shit with. And that's a true story, Redskins fan. I do cry myself to sleep every night. Cool, no, you don't have a gambling problem. I don't think Lovell has a gambling problem, but... Hmm. Yeah, I would imagine so, Shelly. That sucks. But again, I guess things could be a lot worse. Huh. So, okay, before we lose track here, we have to go back to Jen Black. The guy just wanted to caress you. Okay, okay. Maybe he's just showing that he's just a caressy, touchy kind of guy. That guy might be okay. I mean, if you said, was he okay? You think you said he was okay. Um... See ya, Dave, James. Dave, James, James. See ya, James Banks. We'll see him tomorrow, probably. I get tired looking free bonus. I have to go to 10 locations per day and walk three miles a day. Oh, my gosh. Okay, low roller. I. It sounds like it's becoming exhausting for the fella. 
You get, I mean, if, if, if it, it's not worth it, bro, stay home and do an online survey. At least you know that's all, that's guaranteed income. Oh, shit, Dave. I can say I've never done that. I do the envelope system and put it in my safe, but I hear you, bro. I hear you. I haven't used my real money at all. I just use profit for gambling. I know. Yeah, it's fun money, correct. <laughs> he walks three miles a day and stuff. He'll both ways. No wonder you cry at night. Oh my gosh. He's very nice. What is this? It's either steak and lobster or noodles. <laughs> he seemed very nice, but just a little much with all the touching. Last night, though, he texted me something. He meant to text someone else, and that kind of irked me. Ah, that's weird. So you think he might be playing on the field? Ah, uh, that's weird, yeah. He could have exercise routine. <laughs> Look, no roller. Can we just have a talk here between all of us that are here? This is like Lotto King After Dark, kind of. Let's not look at... Dude, low roller. Like, can I be real? Can I just be frank here? How, like, on a good month, low roller, like, how much money do you clear at the end of the month? Clear! That's after bus pass fees. And, like, how much do you clear at the end of the month? Like, look, I realize, I'm assuming you probably are on, like, some sort of SSI or something, which is fine. And this is all on the DL underneath that. They don't know about that. But, like, how much do you clear? I mean, and the IRS isn't listening, so you're fine. But, oh, I'm not disability at all. If I'm winning so much money on school. So, but... I, do you mean do you draw a check? That's my question. But yeah, that's silly, Jen. I'd be a little offended by that, but maybe give the guy a chance. But <laughs> no, come on, instant princess. We're listening to Low Roller here. We don't. Yeah, yes, we know. We know the majority of most people. I haven't spent my real money for a few months. But, okay, that's good, but, do, I mean, I mean, you don't have to answer the question whether you get a check from the government or not, that's whatever, but, you know. I mean, it's cool, but you can't consider it a full-time job, per se, because if it's, if it, you know. Soon to go with him, and then he just walked away. Oh, geez, who the hell was that guy? I see he's my original 30 bucks. <laughs> what the fuck is real money? Oh, my goodness. That's true. Real money! Cause, but that's the thing, though. If you're looking at, like, free free bonus, money is not real money. In a good day, I can make 100 to 200 bucks a day. Well, shit. I mean, I clear that at my job, but after they tell me they take taxes out and shit, I might have to consider this as a full time job. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? Three hundred and fifty dollars. We think. I think. Yeah, it wasn't anything crazy. We did, Trent. We did. It was fun. We got lots of pinatas. Walter knows what low roller means. Yeah. If my job made me cry, I would get a different job. True that, Charlie. My job has made me cry in its day, but that was for different reasons. But <laughs> if he doesn't take the money, that's cool. I mean, look. Look. If I didn't have an actual job, I would totally be low roller in a heartbeat. That's awesome. It gives you something to do a purpose in your life, but um, not really, Trent. Nothing too crazy. Women ask me to touch them all the time. I bet they do reds. Oh my gosh, this chat is just so multifaceted right now. 
Oh, so it's the princess is telling him to move on. Oh, no. Yeah. Carson Keller isn't the Lotto King a mechanic. No, I am not a mechanic. Where'd you hear that from, Carson? I go to the dealership and pay them to fix my shit. They are over 100 gas station. I can go if I drive in my area. Look, free skill game. I can make one to three bucks each location. <laughs> that sounds like too much work. Wouldn't you just want to get a regular job and even get paid minimum wage, which is like freaking what, eight bucks an hour or some shit these days? You would probably it would be so less stressful and you probably wouldn't want to cry. Like, I don't know. No? Is it just me? I wish I worked back at Burger King again, but my Burger King doesn't exist. All right, sounds good, Trent. See you, buddy. Mm. So hold the phone, though. Okay, so, Jen, are you going to go on a second date with a guy? I think, even though Proposal and Instant Princess says, let's go on a second date with the fella, especially if he, if, is he buying you, like, a, dinner or like a drink or something let's get some value out of this guy and then we'll talk and see where he's at from there but i feel like we can help you with the show play yeah because you like it's a princess it's like your wife because we're going in the polygamous relationship so It is, Carson. No, I click buttons on a computer all day. Oh, you're talking about low rolling. You found five free bonuses in two days. That's a lot of work. Well, look, maybe he touches. You might like it. Just try it. You may like it. Maybe his caressing will make you feel loved. But at the same time, don't get confused. Good night, Marianne. Enjoy your real church. Yes, I'll be at the skill church. I know, it's a princess is kind of like your wife, so you should take it from her. <laughs> we don't want to bring this touchy-feely guy into our polygamous relationship. <laughs> That's amazing. What's up, Mandy Taylor? Mandy Taylor joins the chat. Oh, that's rude, Mandy Taylor. He is not lazy. Low roller is crying at the end of the night, Mandy. The bless his heart. But hi. <laughs> the freaking Mandy Taylor came in for the jugular. <laughs> If you are a college student, skill game is perfect job for you. Look for free. I'm sure it is. Oh, you have a five free bonus at the bra. <laughs> What's up, Robert Kaczynski? Ryan Zimmerman, look for free bonus on his job. Brian Zimmerman is trying to actually get a job, so, you know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is Dave. After the book, it turns into like Lotto King after dark and it gets. Ooh. Good night, Dave. We'll see you tomorrow, maybe. When are you doing your food video? <laughs> Yeah, we want another food review. 
One tap one, $350. Brian Zimmerman is a skill god. I'm actually planning to meet up with him to discuss his channel. We're going to talk a little bit here coming up, either probably next weekend. He said about Sunday night, $350, Vaughn. Oh, that is a hired pop machine. Hi, Ms. Jen. Hell yeah, Carson. That's awesome. I can't walk out there right now, Brian. I can barely, like, you know, get myself to my bed at this point. I know, I'm surprised he didn't call me back. I don't know who he ran into, but... Oh. What about me, Redskins fan? Do you think there's one out there for me? That's questionable. Oh, Ollie. Are you sleeping? Ollie's like, I gave up when you can't eat, but let me outside. <laughs> Look at little Ollie. He lets me hit him on the head. I know. Brian's at like 900 subscribers and he's like so close and he wants to meet up with me to discuss the future of his channel and I'm like, I'm totally down with that. He originally suggested some tomorrow night, but I'm like, yo, dude, it's Sunday night. Kenny kind of has a, he's usually over Sunday night to get to pre prepare himself mentally for the week ahead. So I'm like, next weekend, or Tuesday. But Tuesday I have a Zoom meeting, because I think there was an ALD Connect meeting on Tuesday. Which is fun, because it's me and all the other guys that we all have issues, and we all dis discuss our issues, and I like that. There is just not sure about the sex. Ha <laughs> ha, Reds! Joshua, Joshua, oh, what's your mother's? Josh wants the FaceTime. We got back three hundred and fifty dollars, Josh. Hey, Papa Josh called it. Do you want to be live on the Lotto King? You're still live. Hell yeah, I am. I've been overserved in a two hundred and eighty dollar bonus on this. Oh, rising fortunes! I'm touching myself right now. You know where I'm at. Yeah, I sure do. You're at Harrow's. No, what? Oh, you're at Hard Rock. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, my bad. Apologize. Apologize. There's, there's, um... Uh, I got something else to show you. What? Better not be your penis because you're live right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm losing you, Oh, no. Look, Kenny. Oh, you're rock royalty. Of course you are. Yeah, you get your white trash ass out. <laughs> yeah, Low Roller says that Papa Josh is unemployed. He can look for free bonus. Low Roller says that you're unemployed and then you can look for free bonus. Uh, can you tell Low Roller, even if I'm unemployed, I'm still making more money? And his broke bitch ass. Whoa! And Instant Princess says your voice, so we should probably go, Josh. But that's awesome. Have fun at the Hard Rock. Yeah, fuck you, Kenny, you piece of shit. Language. Fuck but, you, Kenny, viewers. You're all pieces of shit. Whoa! He's just using you to make money. <laughs> he don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> and it's true. If Kenny wasn't getting paid for all this ad revenue, it would say, fuck you guys, I ain't doing this no more. <laughs> Goodbye, Junior. Bye, Josh. Oh my gosh. He, that kid, he's a piece of work. Yeah, there's over a hundred gas stations. And OP's out with that. Good night, OP. Sorry, yeah, Papa Josh will take you out. <laughs> Josh. 
<laughs> no, I thought that might have been Big G, but it wasn't. <laughs> Josh is a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. This <laughs> is it for the Furbies for Dan. <laughs> I know. Hell no, Zach. Well, I'll be live around lunchtime, Zach. I'm going to Taco Bell for burritos, but yeah. I have Sunday morning church service at Puffs at like 8 o'clock. Um, but that's me to record the videos that I post on Tuesdays, so you don't get to see that live. Well, that's the thing. So the other morning, which I get it. Yeah, I know. I know. But the other morning, he's like, I'm going to go live before school. And if I got 100 views, I'm like, but you're not gambling, though. I'm like, this is my YouTube channel. If I want to vlog on my YouTube channel, I will vlog on my YouTube channel. It's going to be shut down. <laughs> Gonna try 40 of my winnings on. Oh shit! All right, Zach. Well, I'll be live Monday. Do you want me to hold on to your skill money till Monday? You can play again on Monday if you want to, bud. Um, well, I'll be live again tomorrow if you catch me for lunch. So how about I hold on to your money? I'm not gonna deposit it yet, cause I'm gonna make a big deposit with the book money, and then your money I'll just hold on to. So if you catch me live when we go after lunch, um, you blocked him on the seven. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. Instant Princess is still single and she's ready to mingle with Kenny. <laughs> yeah, he wants me to become a seven star companion. He wanted me to send him $500 in cash today. I'm like, get lost, Tootsie Pop. <laughs> What's up, PA Skills and Thrills? Nothing crazy, bro. We got back 350 on the book. Skills were okay earlier. Um, woo! Sounds good, David. Oh, what's up, Bo? Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, Papa Josh, he wanted my money. Uh, oh, okay. Up the road, just send it all. Okay. Well, I'm going to put the money in tomorrow, Zach. I think I have enough money. I definitely have enough money in my account. I can pay you back tomorrow, but... He told you to F off? Wow. Did you see Ben today since he got addicted on Surfit website? I have not. How's it going, Bo? Bo, I've been overserved to Bo in my own home, so... But yeah, but no, basically what I was saying to him, I'm like, if you send him money, we're getting a force. I know. I'm like, his, no, no, I'm not saying him anything, but like, like, and then he made the comment that no one watches his channel. I'm like, dude, do you think that Rome was built overnight to, like, my channel when I first started? You don't get shit right away. It's these damn millennials. He always makes comments about us boomers. But, like, it takes time. You have to build your audience and you build your time. If you want to vlog, vlog. Post it on your channel. You might get people that like it. I don't know. But, you know, you know. You know, if he's gambling, fine. Put it on. I don't care. Go live on my channel. Do what you want. Whether you li like him or love him, don't watch him. In the end, I'm going to make a couple dollars off the kid. So that's all I, at this point, that's all I care about. But Ch 
So and if you don't like them, don't watch them. And at the same time, I just collect my paycheck and I go home. So. <laughs> I'm in my car trying to get up. Yeah, I don't think the kid realizes that's the majority of the opinions of people. So he makes the comment, though, that people always talk shit about him, but then when he's live, they talk different to him. But. Yeah, for sure, but yeah, but yeah, I'm only, yeah, he's here to make me a couple dollars in ad revenue, that's about it. What if I did live to you VA skills? I would pay you nothing, Zach. <laughs> but if you wanted to... That would be cool, but for like say for the most part on my channel, I'm doing live most of the time anyway, so I know he worked for a law firm, but yeah, that didn't happen. I know, right? What's up, Arkansas Scratching? We're done scratching. Um we scratched our book off for $350. Now I'm here, I've been overserved, and we're just shooting the shit for the most part in the chat. But yeah, I love my viewers. I wouldn't let him go live anymore on your channel. Depending on what it is, if he's gonna gamble, fine. Scratch some lottery tickets again. In the end, I make money off the kid. Hell no, I didn't profit in the corner. Just don't watch him, and then maybe he'll go away. And when I tell him, he asks me how much money he made, I'll be like, $3. You know, but <laughs> probably it's the princess. You know what? You probably have a good idea for a lot of a channel, and that's okay and fine. I, you know, look in the in like during COVID, it made sense to me, but you know now not anymore, not so much. But you know, and and with his trying to sell his seven star status to me with Caesars. Hell no. You know, because I could pay him $500 and he could easily walk up there and be like, I don't want this kid to be this anymore. And then I lost. I, no. Hell no. And the good thing is I'm going to be diamond status this year most likely, which is good enough for me. I don't need to be seven star status. Um, I'm going to do me and prove my own because by the time I go to, I'm going to... Where am I going? Kansas City? I'm going to Biloxi, and I'll be going to Vegas, staying in all Caesars properties. So I'll be able to get that all done. Hopefully Planet Hollywood opens up by now, and the corona lets up by then. But I know! Me too, Mandy Taylor. Big D did it, and he got it really super cheap. When's the next Hollywood get-together? Who knows? You can't even freaking have a drink inside these days, so hell no. Shit, Zach Epperly, shit. No, but this is so much fun right now. You all are a great group of people, and I'm just, yeah, I love you all. Low Rolly went to bed, I think, and it's just a nice little group of people here right now. Shit, it's almost 10 o'clock. The cats are totally passed out. They're like, shit, I want my treats. Uh, you think to... <laughs> no, they can't make it look that obvious, Redskins fan. Let's not talk like that. Jeez, Louise and a half and a shit in a handbasket. I'm going to Las Vegas in three weeks with Sufak, so... Uh, I'm going to go get tested after, but honestly, I think that I was much more a chance to get the Rona here than I do there. Right, man? That's what he was giving me shit. He's like, you didn't even come down and help earn it. I'm like, you earned it in like a week. I didn't even have time. 
you know yeah exactly david that's crazy like i didn't even have time to help you he wanted to charge me five hundred dollars because i made the comment that i would put up five hundred dollars to gamble towards it which in a casino most likely you're going to get some type of return back yeah exactly instant princess exactly uh, ugh, excuse me so we know what happened there but yeah, so, like, I know. And, like, it's the Rona, like, right now. Like, in Atlantic City, you can't even fucking eat inside right now. You have to fucking eat outside at the pool. Like, which means you can't go to the Seven Stars Lounge, which is amazing and probably worth the $500. But it's not even open. It might not even be open for years to come at this point with the freaking Rona around. It's irrelevant. We do, Redskins fan. Would you be willing to come to a Hollywood meetup? Oh, you're mad at him. Well, he invited me along to go to Las Vegas in the... We get the two-bedroom suite with the... We're going for steak the one night, so... Yeah. I'm gonna go, Redskins fan, and then I'm gonna go home and get the Rona test so that I can continue on with my life. <laughs> He's full of shit. A, a poor college student. <laughs> well, I drove a tractor trailer for a day. Yeah! Yeah, there's some shenanigans there. But no, it won't be on a Friday, though, because us working full during the week won't do it, because you have to work on the weekend. That's bullshit. I don't understand why me and Dan Black aren't meeting up. It sure is, low ruler insurance. Dan, why are we not meeting up? Like, let's plan a Saturday. you got time. Why don't we just meet up? We can meet in the middle. What's halfway between Williamsport and my place? Like, freaking Allenwood. We can meet up at the OIP. Or we can meet up at Weaver's, the ice cream place. No, you can eat inside in Vegas. Not Atlantic City, you can't even eat inside. Yeah. I know he could help pay for his college fund. There's fucking low roller. We thought he went to bed. Don't delete his messages, Instant Princess. This is the best. <laughs> We're going to be to Allenwood at Weevil's, and we're going to have some ice cream. We can have a hot fudge sundae together. <laughs> <laughs> My parents have friends that live. Their house is borderline with the penitentiary in Allenwood. We can meet up there. I haven't seen them in a... F I haven't seen them since my brother's funeral, so... Oh no! Laurel, I got time now. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> but you wonder, like a fellow like Low Roller, is he up to like 3 a.m. like trolling for chicks on AOL? Probably. Me and Carl used to troll for chicks all the time on AOL. Go to the Heart Attack Grill. I've actually never been there. You gotta come to Puffs and play Skills. Exactly. What? Well, just plan it and we shall come, Jen Black. It's fine. We'll meet up sometime. It won't be weird or anything like that either. It'll be fine. I am kind of weird. I walk like I gotta stick up my butt, but once you get past that, it's fine. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, as AOL's and no, I don't think uh, oh, excuse me, I don't think AOL is still on. Is there like Yahoo chat rooms? 
Me and freaking Carl, my roommate, we used to go into like those chat rooms and we used to tell everyone to get on their knees. And then we used to invite them into separate chat rooms. Carl actually met his chick from Texas doing that. And we flew to Texas two times to meet her. And then I found out she was 16 years old. And it was like total like Chris Hansen material considering we were like 21. But the mom made amazing nachos and hamburgers. She was freaking awesome. And then the dad got up at 4 a.m. to go to the the bread plant. I don't even think they even had their green card. But they were very nice people. I will, Zach. I'm going to make your deposit tomorrow morning. I'll get it back to you tomorrow, bud. <laughs> oh, Zach, you're just like, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I will hug you so hard and suppress us. <laughs> I'll hug you so hard. I know we haven't seen each other since our freaking time at the fucking Shady Maple. That was a fun time. That was like the first time we met, too. We were like all innocent and our hands were clammy and stuff, and they're like, ooh. I know. But I feel like the feelings were mutual at the time, Instant Princess, but. You know, I just drove home and I was just like, no, she don't want none of this. <laughs> Actually, no, I didn't have any of those feelings. But <laughs> You're playing Pokemon. Okay. Don't worry, Zach. Good luck. Hopefully you can find a Pikachu. What the fuck? How old? Carl was 20. Carl was 20, because Carl's like a year behind me. And you know where we met up when we flew to Texas? We met up at Macy's in the purse aisle. She was fucking 16. I didn't find this out till afterwards. And then there we are, and then, like, she's got, like, all of her, like, friends over. And I remember the one friend asking me, she's like, how old are you? I'm, like, 21. And she was, like, fucking 15. I'm, like, this is so weird. I was waiting for Chris Hansen to come out. <laughs> like, did you know how old she was? <laughs> yes, the buffet. He drove home and used his tears for the vacation. <laughs> Fuck yeah! P Pokemon Go. Me and Carl used to play Pokemon Go all the time. But that was before I became a gimp and my AMN kicked up. I know, I left you. <sighs> I know, Charlie. And then we went back a second time. And I even knew that she was like, she might even turn 17 at that point. But what's up, Brandon Johnson? I think that I made Carl pay for three quarters of the airfare at the hotel. I made him pay for, like, everything. I'm like, I'll go with you. And, like, literally I drove them around San Antonio, and they're in the back seat, like, canoodling each other. It was like Jen Black, the guy, was. they were totally caressing each other the whole time. It was so awkward. And then we had to book a two-bedroom suite so they could have sex over there, which was so weird. And then I actually found out at the time that Carl had to jerk off in a sock in the corner. But that's whatever. They, they, these things happen, but... I'm just like, whoa. But you guys didn't hear that from me, though. But that is actually what happened. But Because the one time, did the police arrest you? No, they didn't. Um, that one time I was meeting with my buddies from high school, and I told this story. And they like the guy like brought over a beer, and he's like, yeah, let's hear this story. <laughs> <laughs> well, name Ken is our group leader. This is a crossword. That's true. Does he know 50 will get him 30? No! That girl's like fucking 32 by now. Who knows? I don't know. She's probably like got like eight kids and fucking lives in like Tijuana or something. But... Kenny, stop talking. Sorry. 
Did the police arrest you beating underage girl? No! And I was waiting for the police to show up at the airport. But again, we showed up the second time and the mom made the best nachos and hamburgers for us. <laughs> but why did I go back a second time? What's wrong with me? <laughs> I know! It's the princess. We fucking paid like $250 a night for the two bedroom suite, by the way. Oh, here's Josh's food outside. It's like one of the seat. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, this is, yeah, just be too much. <laughs> and then we went to the Taco Cabana, though. They make amazing tacos. Was the mom hot? No, but she was, like, the sweetest little thing ever. And, like, I think they lied to mom about Carl at his age, too. But... Ah, she was so nice. I think she knew the second time. I don't know if the dad knew how old we were the second time. But I think they lied and said that Carl's parents were, like, super well off, which, again, I mean, they both have full-time jobs. They're fine, but they're not as well off, I think, as they made them seem. But mom wanted Carl to marry her, so she can't go, probably. Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and then the first time, oh my god, I almost died. That oh, you got let me tell you the story real quick. This isn't that incriminating, but like literally, I we freaking I drove in an ice storm. To Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We were supposed to fly Harrisburg to San Antonio via Cincinnati, I think. So we drove in an ice storm. We stayed overnight in a hotel in Harrisburg. I was in my Jeep. And then the next day, like, our flight was canceled because of the ice. And then... We called, Con at the time it was Continental Airlines, which again, Continental Airlines merged with United Airlines at now, but we pretty much pleaded with the lady and said it was an emergency we had to get to Texas, which was basically just so Carl could bag the six, basically bag the 16 year old. Oh my God. It's so incriminating. But at the end of the day, no one, I don't even know her name anymore, but good night, Wesley. If you're leaving, <laughs> see you, bud. So we beg Continental Airlines to rebook us. And then we ended up, I always remember, we ended up going, it took us, it was a day, we were a day behind, basically. I remember that we went to the TGI Fridays, which was nice, in Pennsylvania. We had some dinner. And then we flew to, where did we go? Cleveland! We went to Cleveland! Lovely Cleveland on Continental Airlines. I know, I'm so happy to have my, uh, I'm happy to have my alcohol back. So we went to Cleveland, and just listen to this story, we went to Cleveland, and then we flew from Cleveland to San Antonio, which at the time in the airline, we got these little, like, hoagies. They gave us, like, little hoagies and, like, sandwiches. They actually, like, fed us. And this was on, like, a little regional jet and everything, so it was amazing. So we landed at, like, fucking 10 o'clock at night. We get there. And then, no, they, they, mind you, this is, like, fucking 2004. We have no GPSs. I'm trying to freaking get from the airport to, like, the Mexican girl's house. And, oh, my gosh. We were, like, all, oh, my gosh. It took us, like, two hours to get there. And then we get there. It's, like, freaking midnight. And then, you know, 
We love Cleveland. And then it's, we stay there and we watch some, we watch like fucking Lord of the Rings or some movie, which I was not interested in. But I, and then finally at like 3 a.m. we went to the hotel. I think she stayed there. She stayed at home. She, we didn't bang the first night. She came the second night, I think. Um, did you pick up some candy? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Exactly, Charlie. Yeah, this is years ago at this point, so. Statue of Limitations. Oh my gosh. And then, this, no, because it was, this, no. This was the second time. I don't know, when did we meet in the purse aisle? I don't remember. Amarillo by And then, I have no idea, we woke back up at like, what time was it? Like 3 a.m. All I remember is I read it porn on the hotel like TV at like the second day. And then I had to go get the bill in the morning because I wanted to make sure Carl didn't see that I was running porn on the hotel uh, bill. Not that it was any of his business. But I figured, you know, I'm here. I might as well have some fun too. Um... Yeah, and I was disappointed because I'm like, this is porn that you can find on the internet. I'm like, why do they put this on hotel TVs? I finally figured that out that time. But, yeah, and then... It, but the whole trip, though, was just like, they're like canoodling in the back seat. And, like, and then we met in the purse aisle at Macy's. That was the first time. I think I'm confusing the second time with the first time. But I like... Uh, but, and then I always remember when we went to check out, we checked out at like freaking 3 a.m. because we had to get to the airport. And the, the lady's like, oh, you arrived? You check out so early. And like, we do. She wasn't from around these parts. Who Lord knows where she was from. But yeah. How did I even get into this story? I have no idea. <laughs> but, uh, did you put a quarter in the fiber in your bed? No! This was like a $250 night. It was like a residence inn, I think. So it had like two bedrooms and two bathrooms, but they had to burn gay sheets. <laughs> I did bad things to sheets. <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, she did. But again, Charlie, I'm there and this girl comes over. And she's like, How old are you? I'm like, I'm 21. And she's like, Oh, it was so weird. I wasn't touching the freaking 16 year olds, Charlie. I knew better at that point. Not Carl. But again, it all this that's because it all started by us in the AOL chat room telling everyone to get on their knees and then we invited them into a new room, I think. But yeah. That's how it ended up and Carl met that girl from there. Like I wish I could reconnect with the girl. I vaguely remember her name, but I don't. <laughs> Kenny passed out from the fluid loss. <laughs> 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 they probably did, but I paid two hundred fifty dollars a night. They can wash the damn sheets. But oh my gosh, such memories, everybody! Memories. These are memories. And like, there's a woman that I used to work with who remembers. <laughs> the police did not arrest you. No, the police did not arrest us, low roller. Um. Yeah, mom said it was okay, but <laughs> Kenny took four bottles of lotion. <laughs> yeah, that was the second time, but I had to drive them around San Antonio, and San Antonio, like it's like a big loop. I did low roller, um, not low roller, um, Juan. I didn't find her. Like, I wish I really knew. I'll have to ask Carl tomorrow. I'll bring it up and be like, I exposed our secret on YouTube. You're welcome. <laughs> I just post our secret on YouTube. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, I, I will always remember that. That night driving to Harrisburg in the ice storm. <sighs> so the crazy shit...
But again, and that's like one of those things like I mentioned before, like those times we wish we could go back to. I kind of wish I could go back to that time and tell Carl, no, she's only 16 years old. Like, why would I go back a second time? I know, I got Low Roller's mind off of skill play, and he's um, into making sure we don't get arrested. So let's hear Kenny's story of women. <laughs> Big loop, exactly. It's a success. No, no, I keep my hands to myself, for instance, man. Again, I had that one chick. She was Asian from California. She had a thing for me. We had a thing in Pittsburgh that time, in Vegas. And she wanted to be able to like, give up my life and move there. And then I pretty much told her that I'm a diseased, I'm, a, I'm very diseased. And she should read up into it and see what she'd be getting into. And then that one time in Las Vegas, she told me, let's have fun tonight. But I was sleeping in my big suite that we rented for a party we had. And then that was the last. That was it. She was pissed. But look, honey, I'm sorry. But yeah. <laughs> it was not midget porn. No. I wish I could tell you. <laughs> she was, man. She had the hots for me. I'm like, what the hell do you see in me? Um, and then we met up in Pittsburgh that time, and she was in Las Vegas. And we both shared. We both shared a room. Uh, we both shared a room that night. It was nice. So one time, and then we shared a bed at the Cosmopolitan all innocently. But I put a pillow between us. I'm like, honey. Like, you're fine. And, like, I'm not, you know, look. At that, at that point, that was, like, the first time we met up. I'm like, I think she really wanted me to lay her. But I'm like, look, like, it's not like that right now. I don't have that for you. I'll respect you, honey. But, you know, you don't want, you don't want, trust me, you don't want in on this if something bad would happen. Mm -mm, honey. I don't want to give you a diseased baby, so it's not good. So, yeah. But yeah, other than that, no, Redskins fan. I just keep my hands to myself for the most part. You know, yeah, I don't want to give you a diseased baby. You too, original seeker. I don't want to give you a diseased baby. That's what you women should learn. If you're trying to get in my pants, I don't want to give you a diseased baby. <laughs> From Santa's got question marks. <laughs> but she loved No, she was Americanized. She wasn't like that. She was like she was like a model and everything. She was really good looking too, but I PC a pillow. Yes, I put a pillow between us. <laughs> yes. You're getting a pillow. We can sleep, like, in a king-size bed. You, you, I'm going to sleep in the middle, and there's going to be pillows. <laughs> you were in Pittsburgh. No, we were in Pittsburgh both together one time, and we were in Vegas one time. It's actually multifaceted. Let me explain that situation again. Yeah, we're putting a pillow between it. Um... So we were in Vegas the first time. She needed a place to stay. I had a room, so I invited her to stay with me. I only had a king-size bed. We put pillows between each other. And then she was in, where was she? Michigan. And then she's like, I want to meet up with you. So we met up halfway in between, which was Pittsburgh. And we spent the night there. I'm not going to go into details. But then the second night we stayed was in Las Vegas. And I had at the Cosmopolitan Hotel, I had a wraparound terrace suite, which was like the back daddy suite because we had this big party in there. I ended up staying there. 
I ended up going to bed. She texted me, said, hey, let's have a good time tonight. And I never saw it. I never saw it. And then I haven't talked to, I talked to her, but very vaguely since. I think she was mad that I didn't give her the poontang that night. But look, honey, it's like, you know, like Charlie said, get a big condom. Why I got time out for no reason. No freaking reason. You give Low Roller an answer. Kenny doesn't put a pillow to the touch. <laughs> Low roller, I don't know why you got a timeout for no freaking reason. How long ago was this? Uh, probably like three years ago or so, Insta Princess. Yeah. Uh, like three years ago. <laughs> yes, we have details. It's really too much. <laughs> it is, yeah. Like what details do you want? We went to Pittsburgh. She wanted to meet up. We stayed the night. Yeah, and then I had to go in the morning because I think I had to go back to coupon at CVS. She was a little butt hurt, but yeah, or butt hurt in general. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, not to choose the subject. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, while wow, he's cranky, I'm like, <laughs> like, there was no connection. She wanted me to quit my job, move to California. She actually worked for Sony Entertainment, and then they got hacked, and then I don't know what she did. I don't know where she works right now. She had a pretty bougie life, I think, like, in California. Like, I could have totally fit in and just, like, lived in California. But I don't know. Our views just weren't the same. And then the one time we were in Las Vegas, we were at the Riviera, which is no longer there. We went to a comedy show together. And, like, you know, was that the same th I don't know if that's the time. I don't know when that was in Vegas, but I remember that. We had a good time, but, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you didn't give her the poo tag up. You only have poo tag when you're drunk, at least. <laughs> we did have poo tag in Vegas. The other times, well, the, the time in Pittsburgh, maybe. But, um, yeah. So you have a lot of hot Asian chicks that is the model that you had to bang your brains out, yet here you are without her. I'm so disappointed in you. I know, it's the princess. I let it go. I let her go. But again, the big, apparently either my lay was horrible or um, just the fact that I fell asleep in Las Vegas in this amazing suite, but I was tired. Kenny's tired. He needs his snappy kids. Which I fucked up that hardcore because, like, it was like the room that had sliding patio doors all the way around everywhere. And I forgot to shut the shades. And when the morning came up, oh my gosh, that was, I woke up so groggy that morning. <laughs> I look muscular, beefy. Oh, yeah, it's hard for muscular, beefy. Hey, I don't have any poon tag right now, no. She's in California. But see, the thing is, though, she was a gambling girl. But her parents moved from Michigan to California. So now she doesn't gamble as much either. But she's kind of a hippie, though. I'm still friends with her on Facebook. But, oh, excuse me, but I don't know. But we did, we did have fun. But some of my other gambling friends said, hey, I should give her another shot. But not that I, we actually didn't have a shot. She kind of ended it on me, but. <laughs> what do you need clarification on the poon tang? <laughs> the poon tang. <laughs> But, like, literally, like, let's just be frank. Can I be frank here? That was probably, like, the last time, like, I was ever, like, in chance of, like, a relationship. Like, ever. That was probably it. 
And since then, it's just been, you know, meh, meh. I keep my hands to myself. I try to walk, like, fuck. Like, I just try to, like, walk without falling over. Like, at some point, you just need to take care of yourself, and you have to accept the fact that you really, I mean, you can take care of someone else, but forget about it. I just want to walk and just enjoy my life and YOLO and, you know... But yeah, but like if you try to get with me, yeah, I don't think my lay is very good, so. Only chicks have or can offer boom day. <laughs> true. This is true. It was the last time Kenny ever saw pussy. <laughs> pretty much, Redskins, yeah, pretty much. But that was the, like the beginning of my situation, you know. <laughs> I know, and now I have all these women on the internet falling over me, but I just have to let you know, like, it's, you know. And just so you all know, this stream is screwed. It's almost 10.30 at night. I'm never this live on YouTube this late, but it was the alcohol that made me do it, but. I don't know. I just, you know. <laughs> look her up. Yeah, you can go on Facebook and look her up, but if he saw one eye, he would be like, What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? What do I do with that? Boom day. <laughs> But yeah, so, oh my gosh. I've got like 800 friends, so you're going to be busy for a while, but. Instant Princess, I know, honey, but at the same time, Instant Princess, I treat you like my sister. I would treat you with some damn respect. I ain't going to come up in there just looking for your poon tank. I would come up there looking for your charm, your lovingness, you know, you're going to take out the trash. If you were at this last night, I have issues with people taking out the trash, but he's only like midget. <laughs> you know, it's, just, you know, no, no, but... <laughs> <laughs> day they do Charlie. He's like the Joe Dirt. You're getting die lonely when you're old since you turned down your future wife. I know I'm gonna die lonely. I'm gonna die lonely. Oh no. Hi Holly. What's up, buddy? You wanna come up here and say hi to everybody? Oh, he's like, I love you, Keeney. Oh, no, Laurel, I got timed out. I got timed out, no freaking reason. Yeah, he got timed out, no freaking reason, Ollie. He did. You know who all I need in my life? I just need Ollie. Ollie provides all the love that I need. Boom, <laughs> dang, the surgeon. <laughs> Listen to that purr. Yeah, I buy Chewy for Ollie. Ollie don't miss a meal, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I got Ollie. That's all I need in my life. Ollie keeps me busy, keeps me happy. He lays it down with me at night. He's a good fella. Hey, what's up, Anthony? You still here with us, bro? <laughs> Listening to all of our nonsense drunk talk. 
I'm robbing his belly right now. <laughs> All he's like, this is amazing. This is amazing. I love how he just holds it all the way, but he doesn't show you. Yeah, I'm rubbing his belly right now, though, too, so he's loving that. That's kind of what's keeping him here right now, I think. Oh, little Ollie. Oh, Ollie. Well, Ollie, I think we told enough to Facebook tonight. Mwah. Kisses to you. Does Ollie to a favor? He does, Anthony. That's what he's been sitting on the last like several days. You know you're beautiful. You just, hey now, Ollie loves you more than Carl. Sometimes I think because Carl only plays. He's on his computer playing video games all the time. He doesn't provide the love that I provide him. Like honestly, like he doesn't like. He'll feed him, you know, he like brushes out his fur and stuff, so there is that type of connection. But, you know. But during the day, though, when I'm at work, he does lay on his lap and stuff. But during the rest of the time, though, yeah. Kid's kind of cranky, he is. Hey now, Redskins fan, I can provide the lifestyle. I can provide to her gambling budget. And where did Kit go? Kit's still on the couch. Kit is... Oh, where's Kit? Ollie, oh, where's Kit? <laughs> He's over there. There's his butt. He loves the chewy paper, yeah. It's okay. It's okay, Ollie. Yeah. Is that I like to go outside and buddy every once in a while. Uh, I, do, I do, I do. You wanna go down? You wanna go back down? You wanna go back down? Yeah, where are we going? Where are you looking? But that does not make your election you need a connection deeper than me and it's a princess have a connection. We have a connection of love. <laughs> yeah, all he sleeps on there. Me and it's a princess have the connection of love and gambling. Yeah. The poon tang. <laughs> What do you think, Ollie? What are we doing? Why are you digging the claws into my bicep? <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> Oh, I'm so like shocked. <laughs> I don't know. So it was rolling. <laughs> No, Charlie wants to know if Laura was good. We should ask him when he comes back. He'll probably be like, I got time out for no freaking reason. We can ask him if he's getting any tang these days. What do you think of? <laughs> That's Carl's job. I just work here. I doubt it'd be a poop day. I know the wall wall bathrooms are so small. 
So Ollie, what do you think? So that's a down. Do you want to get down, boy? Oh, oh he's like, hi, everybody. Yeah, I see. Yeah, he's not getting any poontang. No, I think he did tell us he was a virgin. What do you think? Hey, honest, you gotta be honest with yourself, Dolly. Say, right? <sighs> what do you think, Dolly? I'll say hi to everybody real quick. <laughs> Good night, Rosetta. Yeah, I'm heading there as well shortly. Look at all he's letting me hold him like this. <laughs> I mean, there's one thing better than free, free money is life, Charlie. It is. Oh, you're all right, buddy. You're glad you gotta sit here with me. You can sit here with me, Steph. Okay, we will, we will get <laughs> Oh my. Good night, instant princess. We scratching or <laughs> what's up, Sean? No, the scratching has ended like an hour ago, bud. But we got back three hundred fifty dollars on our book. Thank you. You have to go way back. You can watch that, but this pretty much turned into a Kenny's drunk, and he's telling everybody everything. Kind of night, but yeah. Mm. <laughs> Good night, Mandy Taylor. Let's see who's left after they leave. We'll see if we can have some red skin span. Uh, Charlie, it is, it's too, <laughs> it's way past my bedtime, Charlie. I'm usually in bed like two hours ago on most nights. On the weekends, though, I splurge a little bit. Usually Saturday nights, because if I go to bed by like 11, I wake up at like 7, so I can go to CVS in the morning. But unfortunately, the last time I looked at the CVS deals, um, well, I'm thinking Taco Bell, hi baby. I kind of want a burrito. I do. I want a burrito. A grilled stuffed burrito, if I can get such a thing. I haven't had one of those in a long time. I don't even know if they even have them anymore on there. Oh, good night, Redskins fan. It was fun. We'll be at the Creeper Park having two. So tomorrow, we're going to go to the Creeper Park and have Taco Bell. We're going to go to the liquor store. I got to buy Fireball. You didn't go to camp this week? Yeah, okay. So we're going to have Fireball and lottery tickets. And then... I know, Jen, it is past our bedtime. You and me have, like, the same bedtime. And then we're going to go probably do some puffs. Oh, hell, me. Oh, I need to tell her that me, we both had a sinus infection. I had one as well, Charlie, which, again, I'm finally recovered from that shit. And then they're having a pride protest in Mifflinburg tomorrow, which we're going to drive through and see what that's all about. It's because Mifflinburg never has anything fun happening, <laughs> fun happening like that. So, yeah, that's the game plan for tomorrow. Yeah, sinus infections suck. Like, I still been a little sinusy, but like the infection part's over. So, I've been able pretty much to sleep the whole night. I don't need to take Excedrin just to sleep, which is good, and wake up at. 3 a.m. and take more attention. So that's been pretty good.
And Kent's over here like, oh, hell no. He's like, it's like two hours past treat time. It sure is, bud. But, but yeah. Fun night. Fun night overall, though. Fun to stream. It was fun talking to everybody. Um, yeah. Definitely not safe for children stream. But, um, yeah. What a t what's up, Walter? Oh my gosh, Walter! Yeah, we're just finishing up here. I have no idea what I'm even talking about right now, but yeah, yeah, no fun whatsoever. And I had to go to urgent care twice. And my stupid insurance company billed me another $20 for each visit. Even though I already paid $20 for a copay, which is total bullshit. I'm like, whatever. Ollie, get back here. We're not going outside at freaking 20 of 11. All hells no. We's going to bed. We's going to bed, I think. But yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow. That's going to be the fun for tomorrow. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, I've got a living large experience. Which, speaking of that, before I leave you all, good night, good night, hi baby. I've got a shitload of videos that I have to upload, which I'm going to upload while I sleep. Even though I've upgraded my internet now, I have twice the speed. And I'm paying only $6 more a month. But I've got two weeks worth of videos to upload. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go grab them all and go ahead and upload them before I leave. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. I got 15 videos to upload. Oh, hells yeah, so we're going to leave my Mac on tonight and let that go. But at least I remembered, so. But yeah, so good night, hi, baby. Good night, Charlie. Good night, Jen. Good night, Walt. Good night, Redskins fan. Mandy Taylor already went, so anybody else who's watching, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'm sorry if they heard something that was scary and disappointing to you. <laughs> but I will see you all tomorrow. Take care of yourself, everybody. Good uh, night. And Michelle, good night, Michelle.